This is it. Part 3 of the All Cards Run. Now, transparently, you guys can yell at me for cheating all you want, because basically, after three hours of reincarnating for one card, I decided it made no sense. There is a script for the manip, like a Python script. I'm not going to learn Python overnight or anything like this. So what I did was transparently, I used a modding tool, which you guys can use again. So call me a cheater all you want. If you're in chat, call me a big fucking fat liar. I don't even care. Basically, I'm taking the L voluntarily because... I basically am acknowledging that the reincarnation in this game is total bullcrap. And if anyone were to say to you, just reincarnate it, bro, um, that's wrong. Because reincarnation in this, you could be reincarnating for one card such as Eye Armor or Fiend Reflection number two for hours. So what I did was I used the modding tool, which, uh, yell at me if I don't include that in the description below on the YouTube VOD, yell at me in the comments. Um, or I have a video on it anyway, just look it up, Duels of the Roses and Modding Tools. Basically what I've done is for any uh, monster in the reincarnation pool of one deck cost, I've just removed all the other ones, so I'm still going to reincarnate, use the same method to get the card, it's just obviously free. As soon as I land on a monster at 30 deck cost, I'll get Fiend Reflection number 2, instead of getting one of the, I don't know, 10 or whatever monsters uh, at that level. Because that means the difference between getting it within a few times and taking hours and hours and hours to get it. And again, I'm not timing this for a competition, it's just a gauge on how long that this takes. Um, so you can add fucking anywhere from 2 to 8 hours on top of it if you want. I do not care. Um, it's literally just because I don't think anyone actually unironically wants to see me enter the deck editor and exit, and enter the deck editor and reincarnate and exit, and just do that for hours and hours and hours. Nobody wants to watch that. So without further ado... Oh, wait, wait, that's right, my cursor was on save the last time we started. So that's where we're starting from this point. We still have a bunch of stuff to get, so... Uh... Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, we're red. We're red, wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Best segment. Let's just forge this. <laughs> I don't want that to be red. Alright, now... Yeah, we're green! We're green! You kind of do want to watch that? Why is that? You want to watch me be tortured. That's, that's what you want. Let's uh, have a look at our deck again. You would watch that. Jesus. What are you guys into? Alright, what are we actually doing here? We want... We got two monsters reborn. We got a Mimic Cat. Exile. We don't need Exile. We don't need Fear Me or Crush. We want... Uh, Grave Robber. That can revive monster reborn or Mimic Cat. So that's good. Classic Joey card. Classic. Alright, what else do we want? Oh, we want Dark Hole. That's right. Why don't I have a Dark Hole here? That's what we wanted. Dark hole. And then we should add a white hole, right? We got two of them. Oh, so would you guys really actually want to watch that, or are you just, you just me? Because I'm actually not sure. You could maybe really want to watch me just bash my head against the wall. I wouldn't judge you for that. You would watch it. But is that because you would watch anything? Is that what you're trying to say? Because you're being nice? You're memeing good. Because I almost lost, lost faith in you. Your time is way more valuable than watching me doing that. And if we're going to watch that, we may as well just... I don't know, isn't this more entertaining? It's like the same thing with more entertaining, you know? Uh, collecting all the cards and all that stuff. Monster Recovery, Hinatama, and no, we don't need these things. Insect Imitation, no. Nothing is boring when you don't understand anything. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, maybe you should start playing the game, and then I can coach you on to being an expert, yeah? Guys, you know how people really normally charge for coaching? I'm doing it in this game for free, you know? And that's, that's the Clovis offer. <laughs> Again, I hope you're all doing very, very well. I hope you're all nice and comfy. I 
think I don't I don't really think we can make the deck too much better than what we've done. I think adding in some more life point recovery probably is the way to go, however. Dark energy, nah. Do I still provide pr free drinks? Good question. What drinks would you guys like? How many cards left to get? Um, I think around like 30? I don't really have a count here. I'll give you guys water for free. That's... I think that's a courtesy thing, you know. We've got quite a few... Looks like we're missing a lot of dragons, but these are like all the rituals. Like, this is Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and then there's like Serpent Knight Dragon, and... Uh, Trihorn Dragon. Uh... Probably missing something there... Oh, we've done... Uh, we've done Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Yeah, we have. We're getting there. We are getting there. Beer. What sort of beer? I can't give that shit away for free, guys. I think the police will be after me. Why the F is Trihorn Dragon Ritual? I have no idea. The game developers probably thought it was really cool. After all, Yarmadron, that's one of them. Yarmadron is a ritual. You can just play that with uh, Yamatano Dragon Scroll, though, which I probably should do. Um, until then... What I'm going to start off with is we're going, basically, I'm going to revive cards from enemies that have them. The main one I'm looking for on Labyrinth Ruler is I want to revive Jurai Gumo. So, that's like the only card I need from him. Yeah, so. I'm going to revive Jurai Gumo and exit out of this duel. That's literally what I'm going to do here. That way I have Jurai Gumo in my library. I have no uh, lab breaking cards for this, but I'm just going to use my hand slasher. The hash slinging slasher, rigorous lever. Yo, Sugar, what's up? Um, how many cards left? I think around 30. But we are getting to the point where it's most of the really annoying cards. Um, like, really annoying cards left to play. Hey, look who it is! Look who it is! Alright, well there's his Jiraikumo. Um, FYI, if this guy draws Jiraikumo in his first five cards, which is literally a 1 in 8 chance, he will play it. So all we actually need to do now in this duel is revive that Jiraikumo, and then that Jiraikumo is in our library. We have two Monster Reborn and one Mimikat. No, I have not played Gate Guardian. I got the Ritual, actually, but I do need to play that. Also, I'm still moving to the right out of habit. I play this duel so many times, even casually, I'm just, like, always moving to the right. Anyways, how are you, Sugar? I hope you're doing well. I've got a bit of sugar in me right now. Oh my god. Double coated Tim Tams. Oh, you live in fancy. Double coated Tim Tams are a freaking scam. I'll tell you why. You only get nine instead of 11 of them. How's the job so far? Oh my god. So I quit, unironically. At the end of my second shift, I basically told him this isn't for me. You guys are awesome. But it just wasn't for me. That was pretty much that. Uh, I know that sounds very anticlimactic. But, um, I've been looking into applying, like, for department stores and stuff like that. I think that, like, really packed, busy, hot, sweaty, noisy kitchen, greasy kitchen is just not for me. I'm a completely different person than I was when I last worked in a kitchen. And, um, I'm glad I tried it. I know I sound really determined, because I still am quite determined to work, but I just think... There really was no point, um... actually, like, continuing there, if I was just gonna, like, quit after a few months or whatever, or, like, within a few weeks or something, I really didn't enjoy it, honestly. So, um, 
What I did work, I still... I probably worked like $200. Oh, here we go. Okay. Probably got 200 bucks out of it. I don't know. I will still get paid for that, but... Um, I am unironically going to use that money to buy, like, new shoes, which sounds really stupid, but... Oh my god, I have been wearing, like, shitty department store shoes for so long now, and, like, any time I go for a walk, it's Blister City. It really is just shocking. Sorry, that's probably too much information, but... Anyways, we play the drag mode, so we don't have to duel that guy ever again. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Same with the special ones. Yeah, all of them are like that. So, basically, because Double Coded are just, like, Tim Tams to me, like... Yeah, I'll admit they're better, but you know what's better? Having two more of them. If there's any type of clothes to spend money on, sh it's shoes. Shoes are definitely a very, very good investment. You know what else, you know what else is an investment I want to make? Wool socks. Because... Just like generic socks, they're like consumables, right? They're just like... Where do they go? How do they get holes in them? I don't know. When you wear them and wash through them so many times, they just become like mush. You know what I mean? So... Alright. Let's go get a TSS. I love- you know what the best thing in this game is? Dueling Pegasus with like a really like, fuck you deck. Because Pegasus is just like designed to like, destroy a new player. And I'm just like... It's such an anime thing, you know? He's like, I've got the Millennium Eye and Toon Monsters, and I'm just like... Dude, you're literally not gonna be able to do anything in this duel. Like, you're not gonna be able to do anything. Okay. Speaking of not gonna be able to do anything... Uh, well, he's going to win because they're going to surrender. But that's even more of an anime thing. It's going to be like, I don't even need to win. I just want your one card. You know? Yes, you do. It counts as you playing it. It's the same for, um... Like, this is the only way you can get Kinetic Soldier in your library, is reviving an enemy's Kinetic Soldier. Alright, I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. So you see how he did Tremendous Fire? I'm gonna revive it. Why? Because now he can't revive it. So it's literally impossible for him to lethal us. Unless he revives and uses a fourth Tremendous Fire after using, you know, three. That's a cool fact as well. Also, Pegasus double fused. Um, what did he make? <laughs> Alright, he made a punished eagle. He fused Niwatori and Dragon Piper to make a Mavalus, then he fused Mavalus with a warrior to make a punished eagle. So there you go, guys. Pegasus just fused and made a punished eagle. There you go. Alright, what the hell are we doing here? I've got Darkness Approaches, and I've got, uh, Magician of Face. That's a good sign. We can just sit here and set up. So, I'm gonna be setting it up to just slash his hands to the graveyard and also nuke his field, and then eventually we're gonna get a Toon Summon Skull and just revive that. And then we're good. Ah, uh, we have the combo. We have the combo. Only card we're missing really is a dark hole. That'll wipe his field, because he's gonna once his field is full, he will stop actually like playing and drawing cards, so. Alright, so we do this, right? Remember, this is the combo, guys. This is the ultimate enemy card farming combo. You rigorous lever. And then you darkness approaches. And then you revive the darkness approaches with the magician of faith. 
And now, on our next turn, we Rigorous Lever again. So you notice, he every time, you know, they want to play a card, they draw a full hand. If we don't draw a hand, our hand doesn't get slashed to the graveyard. We have no cards. So now, if we Rigorous, rigorous Lever, it only destroys his hand. Look at that. His hand's just gone. And then, so now we use the Darkness Approaches to flip both of our cards back down. And then we revive the Darkness Approaches with the Magician of Faith because we flip that down. And then on our next turn, we Rigorous Lever and we just keep doing this. And we just keep doing this until all of his cards are gone. And this is all you do. This is a combo. You can do this on anyone. It's just these three cards, it's all you need. And just, if you don't want any of your cards slashed to the graveyard, just do not touch your deck leader. Do not draw a hand, and you're fine. So we do it again. Bye-bye to his hand. It's all gone. It's all gone. All gone city, Damazel. You guys know Ratchet and Clank too, right? I didn't even like that planet. Grelbin's a better planet. Darkness approaches, and we just keep doing this until he has no cards. Maximilian Pegasus is fucked. Oh shit. We got burned, but it's fine. Say goodbye to Exodia. Um, I want to uh, revive his Tremendous Fire. Or actually, this is a better play. We can do this. That mitigates his Tremendous Fire damage. Again, that's a pro tip. If you guys are really worried about Pegasus, get some uh, Goblin Secret Remedy from Weevil, and if you also want, you can get some Red Medicine from Rex. Rex Medicine. Oh, get it? Get it? Soul Appeal. Yeah, but you can't get that card on this side unless you reincarnate for it. He didn't draw a hand, so... Oh, he did, he did, he did! Oh, he did! Alright, what a... I'm... He might even have TSS on the field, either that or it's in, like, the bottom of his deck. I mean, yeah, Solar Pure is great against this guy, but, um... Those other cards are also very strong. I do want Dark Hole. I got a White Hole, so... Again, this is also the most broken combo in the game, unironically. You set a white hole, and then you dark hole, and it just destroys all your opponent's cards without even touching any of your own. Apart from flipping up your white hole, obviously, but... There you go, the TSS, it was there, it was there. So, um, yeah... What have you got? Revive a Mimikat. And then I'll use that to revive his TSS, and then we're... I could play a Soul Leader, yeah. Alright, I gotta, okay. I got a plan here, I got a plan here. But actually, no, that means we need to win if we're gonna do this, but that's, that's whatever. Alright, so, uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. We'll revive his TSS, so we've done that. We can kill him with his own TSS, actually. I don't think he can beat this anymore. Play a Soul Eater. So the reason why I'm going to play this is to get rid of all of his monsters from the graveyard. That way it only leaves his spells, which we want, uh, we still want Gamma Sword Oath. 
and also Millennium Shield. Hey, Feeder, what's going on? So, we'll slash his hand to the graveyard again. Ah, look at that, look at that. Alright, um... I'm doing great, thank you for asking. We're having a lot of fun bullying Pegasus, so join in on the fun. This guy, oh my god. This is just, like, terrible for him. Um... Why? Because we won his cards. The question is, actually, why not? You know what I mean? Why not, actually? Like, literally, why not? Did he Mega Morph, uh... Bry Castle? Alright, so that's not strong enough to beat this. It's just not. Alright. <clears throat> if we can revive a Dark Hole again and just wipe his board, that'd be actually just overpowered as hell. Um, Alright, I think I know what to do here, actually. We'll revive Magician of Faith. And then we'll use the Magician of Faith to revive Dark Hole. That's his last card. So we're gonna Dark Hole his board again, and he's just gonna have literally no cards. So for anyone out there who really hates Pegasus, whether it's in this game, or in the anime. Pegasus is done. He is just done for. Dunzo. Look at him! Look at him! Can't even play a card! He's got no cards, he can't even play anything. He literally just can't do anything. Is this satisfying or what? Look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Look at this guy, man. He, he thinks he's actually going to get away. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's absolutely not. Look at him move. Look at him move one tile as if he's actually going to get away. It's just not. We're killing him with his own monster. This is brutal. Brutal. Brutality. Ah, <sighs> alright, well, you know it'll be brutal if we miss our rituals, if we miss both of them, because that's kind of what we're here for again. Alright, so we want, uh, Millennium Shield and the Gamma Sword Oath. I can't even see the Gamma Sword Oath, it's gotta be there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, so much crap here. Hey, we got it! We get it. All right, so we got um, what what was it called? Curse of Millennium Shield. We want to get the um, Gamma Sword Oath now. Hey, we got it again. We got it. Oh my god. Okay, I don't, actually I don't think we need anything else here right now. Uh, yeah, we actually don't. Nothing else there is relevant to us. So that's cool. We got the two rituals we came for, and we revived the TSS, and we played it. So that's all good. Ah, that's awesome, actually. That is really good. We don't need to go into that duel anymore. Oh, my God. And the best thing about this is I don't need to scroll up or down. My list is actually small enough to fit on the screen now. So that's good. Um, okay. So what else do we need? We want a man eater bug, but we, our deck cost is too high for this guy, so I'll come back to him in a bit. 
Um, we need a Machine King from Keith still. Machine King. So let's go ahead and duel Keith. He doesn't have any rituals, so we just need Machine King from him. And then we're done with him. We are done here. Actually, no, 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 no. We need Blast Juggler. We need Blast Juggler. I'm glad I spotted that. Okay. So let's try and set shit up. Let's get our Monster Reborns behind us. I, we don't need Soul Eater at all. Because we actually want his monsters and none of his spells. So... Let's just attack him. He had a very bricky hand there. He just had really, like, top-heavy high summoning power cards. Like, wow. That's, like, all of his high SP monsters apart from, like, Machine King. Oh, now what are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing there? Um... What if that's a Blast Juggler? That would be cool. Nope, it's Saber Slasher. Wait a minute. What sequence of cards did he play? How did he open with a uh, ground attack of Bugroth and then play Saber Sl Did he just not play a card on his second turn? Because he had, like, old bricks. That must have been what happened. That's weird, actually. Well, well, well. Let's revive our dude, and then... Oh, shit, there you go. Well, there you go. The, 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 he played a magic jammer. So we're not doing that. We're just going to wait another turn. We got like, what, three card revive revive cards behind us? I should have revived my uh, Mimikat with my Grave Rubber. That, that way I can revive anything. I can revive anything. Let's do that now. Revive our Mimikat. Still no Machine King or Blast Juggler. He could even have one on the field, I guess, theoretically. Oh, you better run. Look at him, Saber Slasher. Look at him go. Look at him go. Uh, we don't even need any of these cards, honestly. Like, we just don't. He did draw a card, right? Otherwise, they're just slashing our own hand for no reason. We just want to slash his hand. Lucky nothing in our hand we really care about. There we go. Ooh, he could have played a metal, metal Zoa if we gave him enough time. He had both cards that were in his hand. So, there's that.
Ah, oh, you better defend. Ah, oh, he's just, he's just, ah, oh, defending with everything. What is he doing? I don't even know. Okay. Um, let's start setting this up. So, we're gonna set up the white hole, dark hole thing. Um, I'm gonna activate a sparks before our dark hole. In case he has a magic jammer on the field. And then after that we can just we can continue to do um Maybe he has five monsters out in the field and he has a handful of monsters, that's why he's not playing anything. Alright, so Mimicat, White Hole, Dark Hole. Okay. I actually I do really want to play my Dark Approaches now. Before it's too late. I don't know if he's actually drawn a card yet. So, I'm gonna play my Sparks. Just in case he has Match Jammer. There you go. Um. I guess I wait one more turn. We'll try. I'll try Goblin Secret Remedy. I do uh, Dark Piercing Light actually. I just don't want him to Magic Jam my Dark Hole. That's the only thing I don't want. I want to get this card off the field. Definitely, that's for sure. Here we go. Dark Piercing Light. Go. Show me all of his cards. There you go. It's nothing. We dark hole him. Nobody wants their hole jammed. Exactly. Exactly. We ain't about that. We ain't about that jam life. A darkness approaches, so we can just rigorously leave the next hand. Am I good? There's a Blast Juggler. So I'm gonna play that Blast Juggler now, so I've got it. And then again, we'll let him draw his hand out and then blast that. And then another hand and we'll blast that as well. Slash his hand away. And then, um... Not draw a hand, then we wait for him to draw a hand and then we blast it. Ah, oh, that's it, that's it. So, if we get another dark hole out, then we... He's, he just can't play anything else. Don't really need to win this duel though. That's it, his, his cards are gone. So only his cards on the field remain. Pio pio. What have we got here? White hole. Um, so I uh, probably dark piercing light. I actually think that his Machine King is on the field, it seems. Unless I just didn't see it in the graveyard. I can't revive it anyway, so... Yeah, man, that's rough. That is so rough. I can't actually revive that, so... We have to go back in. We have no revive cards left. Because I revived, like, my rigorous levers. So, even though we, we can destroy this, we just can't revive that, so. 
we need to go back in and get a Machine King. That's the only thing we care about, though, so that's good. So after the previous duel, we got everything we wanted. We literally only got one thing out of the two things we wanted in this duel. Which sucks. Which sucks. How's it work so far? I quit. This is going to come up a lot in this stream, and everyone uh, who watches the YouTube VOD is going to be like, uh, what? Yeah, I'm just looking for different work. Like, probably, instead of working in the back of a fast food kitchen, <laughs> probably work at a department store or something. That's my goal. Something a lot less noisy and greasy and sweaty. I wish it was a lot easier, but it's not. And I don't really want to be in the same situation I was in my last job, where I just stayed there even though I hated it. I reckon that's just not the play. I didn't care about taking control of his card, I want him to like attack this and die. Then again, any card other than ground attack of Bugroth won't actually die on Crush, so whatever. I hope you have fun with it too. There you go, it's dead. I hope you have fun with it. And again, I know jobs aren't particularly fun, but there is a different level of misery you can have in a job. You can be comfortable with it, or you can really be constantly hating it. And um, if I was not even going to stick through like the end of training... Like, I didn't want to waste their time or mine, so I was just saying, like, yeah, I don't think this is actually really the job for me. Um, so yeah. Just called it there. Now we lay down the lore. The Solomon's Law Book. With an epic sound effect. And then we slash his hand. And ours, but whatever. Yeah, better call Solomon. Did you guys know Slash from Guns N' Roses? His first name is Sol. There you go. Better call Slash. I kind of need to set white hole. I kind of need to. They got a JoJo reference, did they? What JoJo reference? Joey JoJo Junior Shabadoo. Hey, look who it is! It's Machine King. Don't you mean JoJo got a Guns N' Roses reference then? What an awful, awful name. What? November Rain. When a no, 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 no. That's what he sounds like, right? Axel Rose. He just fucking sounds like that. It's like, dude, stop. Stop. Stop sounding like that. Oh, 3k attack. Look at that. Alright, so we got the card we came for, so we're going to surrender on our next turn. I don't actually know if we need to finish the turn with that card on the field to, for it to count, but... Welcome to the jungle. He doesn't actually sound like that. I'm just being a douche. He doesn't sound that constipated. God, he sounds really bad now. Like, I get it. I'm not going to say that I'm going to be a godlike singer when I'm old. I'm not even a good singer, period. But he kind of sounds like Mickey Mouse now. It's a bit embarrassing. Like, I think it's time to call it, my dude. My man. Okay, I think we can reincarnate now. So, save the game. We're going to do this. Pretty sure Axe Raider is 29 dead cost. Yeah. So, we're looking for Fiend Reflection number two.
We didn't get it, so we're going to try again. So again, transparently, the way with reincarnation and the way it works is if it decides to give us a monster with 30 deck cost, it will give us any of the monsters in the reincarnation pool that have a, 30, a cost of 30. What I've done is make it so that the monsters at a 30 deck cost that are not Fiend Reflection number 2 are not in the reincarnation pool. So once the game rolls for a 30 deck cost monster, it will give us Fiend Reflection number 2 rather than having to try like for 3 hours. That is literally it. This doesn't guarantee we'll get it, not by any means. It just means when it gives us the roll that can potentially give us that card, we will get the card. That's literally all it means. Does this mean I'm cheating? Yes. Technically, yes. This was never a legit run anyway, so fuck it. This is literally basically... Didn't know that first card was in the game. I already forgot what what was on the screen. Um, if you want, you can clip it and screenshot it and send it in chat or... And then I'll tell you what it is if you want to know. But I actually... Ah, oh, Wicked Worm Beast. Yeah, that's the Wicked Worm Beast. Um, Bakura has that card. So, um... Yeah, in this game, when you... When that card's flipped face up... It, um... It returns to the bottom of the deck. It says it's shuffled back into the deck, but in this game, when everything's shuffled back into the deck, it's right at the bottom. It just puts it at the bottom of the deck. That's all it does. Yep. Like Hane Hane, or Hane Hane, rather. It's the same shit. Actually, no, sorry. Um, Wicked Worm Beast goes to the bottom of the deck when it's destroyed, not flip face up. My bad. So it's similar, but actually not exactly the same. Even better. That's debatable. That is debatable. No. Chakra. Now that is honestly... The cool thing about Chakra that most people don't know... Is that it actually keeps its attack value. So if you have like a hyper juice chakra. It just stays like. If for whatever reason you Ryoku chakra. And yeah like that is. Even if someone destroys it. Via battle somehow. But again it's. It's like, it seems really overpowered, but then you realize if the enemy has a card that's strong enough to beat it, it doesn't actually matter if it comes back alive with the same attack power. Chakra is a very cursed card. I think it's really cool because it just looks really cool. Conceptually, it's cool, but really it's not actually that good of a card. Again, we're looking for Fiend Reflection number two. That is the card we're looking for here. And again, the way I've set this up is that the reincarnation pool is all the same, but the own, all the monsters in the reincarnation pool at 30 that cost. Fiend Reflection number 2 is the only one. And yeah, it's another monster that you cannot obtain a copy of it or make it your deck leader unless you play Redux mod. So play Redux! Another reason to play Redux. Although, I always feel like... Uh, because Chakra is one of the final bosses, like, I never really rate Chakra as a deck leader for the player. See? Testimonial. Play it. That's a 29 deck cost card, so if that was 30 deck cost, it would have given us Fiend Reflection number 2. But it didn't. Hey, there's the Toon Summon Skull, which we already revived. We already revived that, so it doesn't even matter. And again, apparently the trick is, um... You reincarnate a monster with one deck cost lower than what you actually want. 
because the low roll and the high roll both end up being in a range that actually allow you to get the monster that you want. When you reincarnate, it has a chance to be the low roll or the high roll, and then they have their own ranges. And the only way to have both the high and low include the range of the card you want is to reincarnate a monster with one deck cost lower. Than the actual one you want. Boo! This is lame. Pain! We're gonna be here for a while, but you know, when the game actually says you get a 30 deck cost monster, it'll give us the one we want. So I think this is pretty fair. I mean, even though I literally like hacked the game, but whatever. I didn't remove everything but this one monster, that would be stupid. That would be a very good demonstration of what's supposed to happen. Blah. Boo. Yeah guys, what uh what emotes do you want to see? What emotes what Clovis emotes? Would you guys want to see? I, I will take any any suggestions. Doesn't guarantee that I will do them, but I will absolutely consider them. I already have it all road mapped out. I just want to see if anyone has any ideas. I still need to map out the animated ones. They're the lowest priority though right now because they're very expensive to commission. And my... Um, if I commission any animated ones, it will be like two frame ones, honestly. Because that would be a lot easier to do. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yeah. When the commissions are emotes. That's it. That's the card we came for. So again, transparently... When the game decides to give you a 30... Deck cost monster... In the reincarnate... When you reincarnate... It will give you... The way that reincarnation actually works is that... It will pick a deck cost... And if it wants to give you a monster... Or non-monster... And then it... Based on that deck cost and what it wants to give you, it'll give you one of those randomly. So say if there's 15 monsters that are 30 deck cost in the reincarnation pool, when the game decides it'll give you a card with 30 deck cost, that's a monster, it will give you one of those randomly. I removed all the other monsters that are 30 deck cost from the reincarnation pool, so as soon as the game decides to give us a monster at 30 deck cost in the reincarnation pool, it gave us this card. So again, this could have taken us hours, but this just makes things a lot more streamlined. If you really care, I don't know, just, again, I'm not doing the timer for bragging rights, it's just to quantize how long this basically theoretically took. Um, you can add a few hours, I really don't care. I really don't care. Otherwise, I wouldn't have cheated and, and, and cheated and admitted to what I did to modify the game. It's just really to save time, so we can focus more on the actual interesting to watch stuff. So that's done. Alright, um, hold on. What exotic pieces do we even have? Left arm. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, but a Toon Summon Skull emote of what exactly? Because I actually considered using him... Um, but I don't have any good ideas for him. And I actually have some emote... Basically, the way I'm organizing the emotes is I think of an idea and then I try to apply the most fitting Yu-Gi-Oh monster to that idea. For example, I'm going to get a sip one, and it's going to be, um... 
water amotics, like drinking out of her like water gourd thingy that she holds. Um, I'll show you while I'm here, actually. There. So you see she's holding that thing? Above her head, it's like an urn. It'll be her drinking out of that thing. That that was the idea that I had. And she even has, like, fin ears, so... That, important details I've actually got to pay attention to. Um... It was either going to be that, or Theory of the Fountain, which are pallet swaps. But, because I've already got the, um... Uh, Sag, those are literally just the Exodia cards. I'll show you. I'll show you. They're literally just the pictures of these cards that have been in the, that have like the most popular cards in the game, arguably after like Blue Eyes White Dragon. So what you're seeing there at the top right is literally this card. That's what you're looking at. Look, it's an emote. It's a Twitch emote. They ran. They went back and they put it in the game. Anyway, uh, let we should probably should keep playing. Um, we need to revive Diane Keto, the Cure Master of the Keto Diet, and we need to re uh, revive a uh, Creature Swap. Um, okay. How about we go to Tristan? Yeah, it says limited time only emote, so you may as well use them, right? I missed out on them, rip. Limited edition, I got FOMO. Alright, um... So, we can set shit up. For this guy, we can slash all of his cards to the graveyard, and we only need to... We only need to pay attention to his ritual. We only need to pay attention to his ritual, and um, well, his non-monsters rather. We could we revive his creature swap, and then we also we want to get a copy of his ritual. Sass girl's on a lair, yeah, because I got the harpy laugh. Look, isn't she awesome? Look at her, look at her, look at her. Sorry. Sorry, I got a bit a bit excited there. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, no, 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 no. I'm the sass. I'm I'm the sass. I'll uh, fill in for her. Also, the sass girl is Mai. You should know about Mai. She's the most base character in Yu-Gi-Oh. Period. Rigorous Lever. My Valentine. Hey, he fused. He fused. I refuse. Get it? Get it? Garoozies. There's your creature swap. Alright.
there as your creature swap. Hey, we killed Garuzis. You know, Joey with his, uh, admittedly much better, uh, Brooklyn accent than mine. What is he doing? Yeah, Garuzi's actually literally got COVID. He should have worn a goddamn mask. This is something I've been thinking of. Do you guys actually think that within our lifetimes there's going to be like another pandemic? Because it's weird, like... How much the world is the same, but also different since the pandemic, you know? It's actually quite bizarre. It is actually quite bizarre. The thing is, I feel like, I feel like there might be a lower scale, but we might still react the same. Yeah, because, like, uh, the media since has been, like, this and that and the other, and they're like, oh, there's a nightmare COVID variant. Like, just all stuff like that. And it's like, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Everyone's just like, nah, we just, we did everything, we got vaccinated, we've worn masks for however long. We don't care anymore. And it's just like, alright, but how bad does the next situation need to be for us to, like, take it seriously, you know? How bad does it have to be? Yeah, that happened to us as well. Um, in Australia, like, after they lifted all the mandates and everything, they were like, uh... Like, a week after, they're like, it's a new variant! And it's just like, well, we all got vaccinated, so, um, I guess we're, we're fine now, right? That's how this works, right? We were all told how getting vax several times would, would make it so that it wasn't really a massive threat. And they just kept being like, by the way, there's a new COVID out. And it's like, this isn't like a Marvel movie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the, there's no sequels. Like, it's done, right? Right? I'm not gonna lie, I was still prepared to wear masks. Indefinitely. For no reason other than I'm weird and aesthetically I found it pleasing to cover my face. I didn't have to worry about shaving, I didn't need to worry about a little pimple. Just. I didn't need to worry about having my face be seen by everyone. I would just go outside and not give a fuck. Honestly. I was like one of the only people I knew that was happy to wear them. Like they were not uncomfortable to me in the slightest. Honestly, did not care. I actually found them... In the winter, they were comfortable. In the summer, they were fucking awful. I will agree with that, for sure. They were genuinely awful. In the summer. But in the winter... I seriously could have worn one all day. And not cared. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to do this. Nice one. Also, low-key, um... After, you know, investing in a few reusable ones, I kind of... 
would be happy to get more use out of them because I feel like everyone just has masks sitting around that they're never going to use again. Kind of depends, you know, on what's going on. What's my last card here? Red Medicine Epic. All right, cool. Reviving this should count. I don't think I actually need to use the creature swap. Reviving it should just count, honestly. Um, hmm. Look at this, 9,800 attack. Isn't that, is that balanced or what? Is that balanced? Um, uh, we'll find out the hard way, I guess. How did Winky get proved? I don't know. I don't know if you saw me post in the Discord. But when I uploaded them all, none of them were approved. And I looked at the Wink one and I'm like, alright, well if it's going to take them a while to improve it, I'm actually going to recrop it so it's a bit more close up. And then I recropped it. I re-uploaded it with the exact same name. And it was approved. And I don't know why. I genuinely, I don't know why. Nice. Yeah, I'm in Australia. Western Australia to be specific. Specific. You know. Just just double check that that counted. It really should count. That's the equips. There you go, creature swap. It did count. Uh, creature swap. We've also got... um. Resurrection of Chakra. Cool. Um. Alright, so we want Metal Guardian. Anti Rageki. Diane Keto the Cure Master. That's definitely a. Gotta go to Skull Knight for that. Start stream at 6 a.m. for you. Uh, I, when did I start stream? Um, I started stream at like literally pretty much 8 p.m. here. Don't dox myself. Seriously, I mean, what what are you guys actually gonna do if you find my location? Is that I don't think people are gonna give me like like destroy my house with bombs or anything, you know? If anyone knows I live in Perth, it's like cool play Deadlocked with me, well, what if I disagree with that? What if I don't want to play that game? Hmm? What are you going to do then? Uh, we want a Metal Guardian and Zero Ritual from this guy. I will die of cringe. Yeah, if I play Deadlocked, I will. Ring my bell and ask how to get Blue Eyes White Dragon. At least I can answer that. You could do worse. You could uh, ask how to get uh, Ryoku. You know. Oh no, it's the angry face again. No! Alright, what have you got? I'm gonna do what's called a pro game and move. I made you angry. How do I feel? Uh, I feel pretty indifferent. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I don't think I get asked about Blue Eyes the most. I don't think I do. What the fuck is he doing? You're supposed to draw a card, you bitch. Why is I uh, tier 3 now? You really want me to explain it in detail? I can. I can if you want. The 
the um all right so the irs are from a different artist than angel roaster and i want all my tier ones to be angel roaster emotes because they're high quality and more expensive so i'm putting the cheaper emotes in the tier two and tier three slots that's literally the explanation I just wanted darkness approaches. That's all I really care about. These are fine. Dark hole is good as well when I get it. Um, I probably should add the IAR to. FFZ, but the Ishtar one is there, so if you want to use that one, be my guest. Ishtar IAR is in FFZ. That's the old one. That's not actually mine, so I... That's why that isn't there anymore. I do not have the rights to that image. Yeah, you can use that one as well. You can also use uh, Skull Etchers if you have it. I broke the law. How did I break the law? Don't don't send the FBI to my location. I, does swatting even work in Australia? I feel like it wouldn't. I did, but I owned I, I owned up to it. I admitted it. I admitted it. So it's fine. It's fine. You'll keep quiet if I beat you in one multiplayer match of Uyur or Deadlocked. I don't even know if that's freaking possible. Because I am not good at those games. I am just not. What's up, Ricky J? How's it going? Trying to complete the whole library, basically. So right now, uh, I'm trying to get Metal Guardian because this is the only guy who drops it. Heard I'm doing another run of this next week. You heard wrong, my friend. You absolutely heard wrong. There is no freaking way that is going to happen. Um, that is just not happening. Nothing up setting up your new phone. <laughs> Seems like you're not used to it yet. What phone did you get? What phone did you get? Get wrecked. Uh, let's do this. I got a white hole on the field. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, let's uh, dark hole this guy. Don't you always hate how the AI press every card? Um, In a speed run, yes. Right now, I'm kind of like immune to it. It doesn't really affect me. What is that emote? Mod love. I don't know. Why is there a giant sword going through that R? Oh, that's what I want to know. I don't actually know why it's like that. Uh. Do I have anything in my hand useful? No. So. Bye. Yeah, you like that emote, don't you? What did I even send to the graveyard? Zero ritual, nice. Metal Guardian, nice. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Theoretically, I could... I don't think I have the cards to revive his stuff and make... 
Wait a minute, maybe? No? I need three fiends. I need more fiends. I need another revival card. Alright, hold on. So I got a Metal Guardian. He got King of Yami Makai. Yeah. I think I get a straight up ritual summon his uh, thing. He has a zero ritual, yeah? We we saw that? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Grave Robber will revive zero ritual. And then, um... Revive a Mimikat? I uh, we do Monster Reborn, but Mimikat's just safer. Alright, so we just need a Fiend, right? Yeah. Two Fiend and King of Yummy Makai. <laughs> Fuck it, we're just gonna do it in this duel. Why not? We're just gonna Ritual Summon in this duel, so we've got it. What do we do? Candle of Fate. Candle of Fate. Here we go, we'll summon Zero the Man. There we go. We got Zero! No, I don't want to trigger that trap. Guys, we got Zero the Man. We're good for that. Uh, again, I don't actually think that I need to skip a turn and wait to the next one and surrender, but whatever. This ain't no competition. Anyway, how's it going, Chica? How are you? Uh, fuck it, we'll crash into it. Cool. Cool! That's what we wanted to happen, right? What's up, Kamimuto? Again, chill times. I hope you're having a chill time because, oh my god. I sounded pretty excited, didn't I? Galaxy S20. One is a replacement because the charging port broke, so you replace your old S20. I myself as am a Samsung enjoyer when it comes to phone. I got um, a F52. And I had a S6 for way too long before I got this, so when I made the jump from that old beaten dead battery S6 to this fresh A52, well it was fresh at the time obviously, I was freaking mind blown, seriously. Um, alright, so we got the Metal Guardian, and we got the Zero Ritual. We want, uh, just a man to bug from Weevil, but our deck cost is too high. I want to get an Anti-Rageki. We can get that from Grandpa, so... We'll move that to the Grandpa section and just do that shit later. Um, so before we do all the Rituals and summon Exodia, we want a man to bug, and we want to re revive uh, Diane Keto the Cure Master. So let's do a Diane Keto. Where's when's come Guardian? We get um Gate Guardian when we do all the rituals. That will be eventually. Okay, so We just need to dump his cards until we get the Diane Keto in the graveyard, and then we can revive it with the Mimikat. First iPhone you ever got is the one you still have now. Yeah, this phone for four issues. I had my phone for over five years, and that was just, like, miserable, honestly. It was really dog shit. If it's here, that's very good. But it's not. Oh, we need the rituals from this guy anyways, yeah. We actually need his rituals, so... We should probably try to beat him. Mirror Force! All 
All right. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Let's attack him. I might just try to dunk him ASAP to try and get a ritual card that he's dropped because he has dropped one quite fast. Yeah, if you don't need a new phone, it's pretty, like, lame investment. They're not cheap. But, I gotta say, once you actually start to really realize and understand that you need a new phone, getting one is a massive, massive, massive difference. Um. Fuck it. See if he drops a die in Keto this hand. Fuck, no. We just want to revive that and then finish the duel. Try and get that ritual card from him. No! Don't play there. Alright, we can play there. I don't really care. I don't even care, man. I don't even care, man. Blip, 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 blip. Wait, wait. Yeah, fuck it. Gravity bind? Well, fuck you. Maybe that's a good thing. Used up all the storage. Did you get like a freaking Trojan horse virus that was just taking up all your space? What do you hate? Ah, don't do that. I really- maybe I should have just attacked him and baited him into using the fucking Diane Keto, but... You know. Alright, whatever. Let's just commence operation, get the fuck out of here. What do you hate? You become what you hate. What apps could possibly need more storage? Cosmo Queen's Prayer. Look at what's actually going on in that picture. It seems so random. Like, if you actually pay attention to that picture, it's just like... Really, it doesn't actually make a lot of sense. Anyway, we got Cosmo Queen's Prayer, so we need the Trihorn Dragon ritual from him. Trihorn Dragon. Ritual. I don't know why it's French suddenly, but... Trihorn. Yeah, I don't know. I think your phone was dodgy. You got a goddamn virus. It's dying, Keto. Alright, well, we need to revive that shit now. Can you slash your own hand and then redraw it? I'm pretty sure you should be able to, right?
I love how he fuses because then he can't even play his own rituals. Epic, dude. Absolutely freaking epic. When is more Luigi picks? Um, no time soon, I'll tell you that much. He's my mum's dog, not mine. Sorry, just jamming out to the music. Um. <sighs> <laughs> Bum, 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 bada, bum. Don't you guys love this song? I actually think it's pretty cool. Um, oh. Please send Trihorn Dragon Ritual to the graveyard. No. Wait, is it even there? Like, what if it's already there? It's not. It ain't. It simply ain't. Bada, bum. Force. Nice. I'll force you. No, I won't. That's gross. That's just terrible. Curse of Dragon, Kamori Dragon, and um, Feral Imp. Feral Imp as well. Oh shit, he's going to activate that. Alright, let's do this. Yes, you can. In Redox, you can fuse all rituals except Gate Guardian and Blois Ultimate Dragon. I actually made a video showing all those fusions. Slash his hand. Woo! And our own, but I don't care about any cards in my hand. So yeah, in Redox it is Curse of Dragon and Komori Dragon. It should be. And, um... Serpentite Dragon should be Darkfire Dragon plus... It's something, it's probably Curse of Dragon, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. A Dark Hole would be good. I don't know if I've already used one or if it's at the bottom of my deck. I'd be careful with it. Oh, we've got one. We just need to play the white hole. Well, that makes sense. See ya! Torturing the final boss. Um, This should be a wrap. Revive the Dark Hole. We should only need one more. And then we'll just give everything a Darkness Approaches. And we can Rigorous Lever, and then next turn we can Rigorous Lever and um, Magician of Faith. And then after that, eventually we can just Dark Hole.
So your darkness approaches. This is the wombo combo. Um, you right there, mate? You right there? He doesn't want to draw any more stuff. What does he want to do? Move forward and play something? Why is he not drawing? There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's there. Okay. Alright, time to wrap this up. All we want now is the Curse of Trihorn Dragon. I'm gonna activate this, because fuck this guy. Boom. Direct attack. With the Soul Eater. The Soul Eater! You know, fucking Snake. Snake Eater. I'm just really not that good at singing, it's just a fact. Oh, you got promoted. Well, that's nice. Alright. Let's get the Curse of Trihorn Dragon. No, we missed it by one. That's a bad sign. We all, we all know what happens after this. It means we don't get it, right? Oh, yeah, we got it on the second try. Nice. Alright, cool. So we got the Curse of Trihorn Dragon. That's good. Now we'd have to go back to that guy. Um. Alright, so we want to do Weevil. We want to get a Man-Eater Bug. Get rid of Fisher. Law Book. Slate Warrior. We don't really need these Slate Warriors, honestly. Alright, we still got everything else in the engine, so we're fine. Yep. Pretty good uh, animated emote, isn't it? Not bad, huh? And it's, I just, I laugh every time because that scene where he's actually sorting through Joey's deck and it's just a bunch of shit. And he's like, dude, you suck. It's just such a good animation in general. Yeah, Joey's like, powerhouse lineup, don't you think? And he's just like, dude, you are s you are just shit. You actually know nothing about this game. Boom. Get out. Alrighty, we are gonna do a monster report on the field. All we need to do... We actually already have res uh, the Javelin Beetle packed. So we literally only need um, to revive Manny to bug, and we're good for this guy. And that's it. Twenty-six fifty Kamakiri man. You've heard of Marathon Man, guys. Now get ready for Kamakiri man. Why aren't I cycling through shit? Oh, um. Alright. Hmm, let's do that. Let's do this. Power increase. Ah, nice, nice. Attack me. Attack me if you dare. With a larvae moth. Really? Really? That was bold. Bold move, man. 
I set a white. Oh, no, I haven't. Set me dark hole. Basically, any cards in my hand that are useful, I need to play before rigorous lever. Alright, see you later, sugar. Uh, thanks for popping in. Sorry you couldn't catch the end of this, because this... I think this is going to be over within the next few hours, so... We're getting closer. So thanks for the good luck, and uh, I guess you get to catch the VOD later on, on Twitch either, or uh, YouTube. I will be uploading these to YouTube. I've already uploaded the first two parts. Welcome back. What did you eat? Wow, this guy is very determined to kill my Slate Warrior. Look at that shit. You hate pasta. What the hell is wrong with you? Pasta's great. What the hell? What did pasta ever do to you? I know what you meant. I'm not as stupid as you think I am. Don't worry about that. What the fuck is going on? Okay, well, we're doing this now. No, we're not doing that. We're doing this. Oh, it's Javelin Beetle back. Javelin Beetle backed. Javelin Beetle packed. We've already got that card. I don't care about that shit. I just want the man eater bug. So I care about. Oh shit. Wrong card. I thought that was my uh, Monster Reborn, but it wasn't. So, bye bye. Rip. Alright, so now we have Dark Approaches anyway, so it actually doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. Cope. Copium. It really is recoverable, so it do doesn't really matter. Um, What if this is Man Eater Bug? No, it's Needle Worm. If this was Man Eater Bug, that'd be pretty cool. But it's not. Parasite! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No! It doesn't matter. Aha! Ah! Alright. Um. Alright. Let's get that the fuck off the field. We're gonna do, uh. Monster Reborn. Yeah, that's more like it. Good recovery, good recovery. Um, he doesn't have a man pug yet, does he? No. Not yet. Um... Rigorous lever. That's what we want. There's the man-eater bug. Nice, 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 nice. Um, on the crush, we can't die. So I'm going to move forward so that when I revive Monster Reborn, it plays it behind me. If we didn't move forward, then it would play the Monster Reborn in front of me, and then it would die. So I'm going to play it behind me, and I'll tank a hit, and then I'll revive Manny the Bug, and then we're good. Giant Scorpion of the Tundra. Well, okay then. Oh, Manny the Bug.
That's Manny to bug done. So that's this duel done because we've already got um, Javelin Beetle pack from him. So. We'll give him the W for that one. Good on you, Evil. Good on you, year one. Congratulations, you beat the famed Rose Duelist. Alright, so, now we actually have a kind of interesting, um, thing going on. So, our next goal... Alright, so we have two things we need to do. Well, group, two groups of things. One is, we need to finish collecting the rituals and then summon those rituals. The other thing we need to do is, uh, all of the Exodia stuff with Grandpa. Uh, we also need an anti Ragecki and Stone Mystic, which you can get from Grandpa. We need to revive his right leg, left leg, right arm, and summon Exodia. Um, that's going to be a bit complicated, so I'm going to have a quick bathroom break, and I'll be back very shortly. Ah, don't worry, I'm back. I'm back, I'm here, it's fine. So, uh, let's... Let's edit the deck. There are four more rituals we need, you know what? You know what, I'm actually, um... I think we'll get the rituals first and do the Exodia stuff last to make last to make it very climactic. Um, so let's go back into Yugi and we want to get the dark magic ritual still. We have two more ritual cards we actually need to acquire. Zero we didn't acquire, but we already summoned that. We got the card in our library and summoned it, so that's fine. So enjoy the epic music. What else we want? White hole darkness approaches. Da da na 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 na. Did you refresh? I hope you refreshed. Already played White Hole, so we actually don't care about what is going on. Negate attack. I've already told you pretty much about the emote situation. And I showed you all the new ones, right? You saw them? It was earlier on in the stream, you were here, right?
You didn't see them? I can show you again after. <sighs> if you you're subscribed, so you can check in my Discord. You have access to the emote feedback channel anyway. So you're fine. You're fine. Although the, uh, the Rose Spectre of Don One has been updated. She drew it from scratch again. Cause she's a fucking legend. Well. It is awesome. Because, uh, the next one, the second one she did is so much better than the first. The first one was good, this one's just basically perfect. It's probably my favorite out of all of them, actually. So I'm very excited for that one, when that comes. I can DPL. I might dump my whole hand and play Dark Piercing Light. I don't play any more face down spells, I just want to draw a dark hole and clear all this shit. I should have dumped on my hand, but whatever. Oh, would you look at that? Dark magic ritual. That's literally the card we want. Well then. Well then. I really do want a dark hole now. Dark hole would be epic. Don't even need to play rigorous lever actually. Really came here for this one card. We'll take his DMG. My DMG now, bitch. Yeah, isn't that evil? Isn't that just pure frickin' evil? He could mirror force, but whatever. Getting a sleep emote? Um, I actually have a comfy one planned, yes. I do have Clovis comfy planned out. I do have an idea for that one. You know what? I'm just gonna crash into this and kill his stuff to get it off the field. Virus infection. Nice. Nice. Uh, alright. I don't even want him to play any more cards, I just don't care. So I have a comfy plan. What is uh what are my other ones? Uh I have an OMG planned, a think planned, a nom planned, a comfy planned, a sip planned, and a lurk planned. Yo Matt, what's up? Every single card, no way! Oh my god, what's up? <laughs> 
How are you? I hope you're doing well. Oh my god! That's actually so annoying, because I just want to end this duel and win. A no what? What do you mean? Uh, so now we get these cards. Okay, whatever. Whatever, bro. A no IMG. I did not say that at all. Uh, a nom. That's what I said. Like an eating emote. That's what I said. I'm perfect, Matt. Well, maybe not perfect, but like, I don't know, close enough. 99% I would say. Look at this! Look at this! Alright. Um... Poop. Poopity poop. Protect from Mirror Force. Oh, I didn't need it anyway. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um... Although I do need to, like, look for a job again, because I tried a job, it was like fast food. And I worked fast food like 10 years ago, and I kind of forgot how much it sucks. Um, and it was like the only job that was giving me a chance after all the ones I applied to, so I just like, alright, I'll give it a go. And on the second shift, like, seriously, like, on the way to my second shift, in my head, I was like, yeah, no, like, this is just not the play. No, you, you capitalize the C in Clovis, that doesn't work. Anyway, uh, if you're going to bed, have a good night, man. I'll see you later. Have a good sleep, my friend. Get slashed. Yo, Turbo Diesel, what's up? How are you? Hope you're doing well, man. Nice, nice. Just kill all of the cards on his field. That works. Ugh. That's a curse breaker, I guess. Why is this so difficult to just kill this guy, honestly? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just want to end this duel. Of course. Of course. Whatever, I'm just gonna Mega Morph this guy. That works. Didn't need to. I didn't need to. Um, yeah, so... My roadmap, I've got an operation this Friday, don't worry, it's not like a scary surgery or anything like that. I bet he's gonna have a freaking Mirror Force now, watch this. Mirror Force! No, thank god. Um, so I don't know, I'm not really in a rush to do too much this week. It was gonna be a pretty stacked week, and then I, like, was like, yeah, nah. So, prior to Friday, I'm not really gonna be doing much. Did want to stream this so I can get it out of the way. Um, so we came here for the Dark Magic Ritual, that's what I want. Missed it by one. Epic. We got it! Woohoo! That's what we came here for. So we got Dark Magic Ritual, so that's good. We need a uh, Turtle Oath, Fortress Whale's Oath, and Revived Serpent Knight Dragon. There are the three rituals we need to get. So, um... Let's go ahead and get this guy's stuff. He has Fortress Whale's Oath. Um, we have more, like, setup time here, I guess. We don't want any of his monsters, so we can just outright play Soul Leader right now. Cool. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Kind of chip, chip. Love that sound. I, I just know that he's just going to attack me there, of course. What if that first face down card he played was actually the card we, we want? That would be kind of funny. I doubt it. I really doubt it. It's technically possible, I guess, but I doubt it heavily. Um, no, how about no, we want to draw some better shit than that. Yeah, it was an equip. Usually it was an equip. So what happens if he opens with the, like, hand where he can't play his monsters because they're too high summoning power? Wait a minute, what? 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 I'm sorry, what did I miss? Didn't I play a white hole on top of this space? What just happened? Am I stupid? The white hole par- what happened to my white hole? I thought I moved over his card, I'm stupid. I am really stupid. I'm just stupid. I am just stupid. I actually thought that the white hole moved over his card. Whatever. It actually doesn't matter. I got two white holes. I give zero fucks, approximately. And I want to check my hand on that card. Alright, how about this? How about... Oh, that's right. We ate our rigorous lever, so that doesn't work. I was too occupied with my white hole that I just kind of forgot that Soul Leader is face-up defense mode already. Dude, this guy has, like, no life points. He's just gonna, like, lose before we even get that ritual card in the graveyard. What is he doing? What are you doing, my man? What actually are you doing, my dude? Um... I just want some more rigorous lever, and then I'm gonna, um... Put my soul eater in attack mode, probably. And then just switch it back to defense mode, like, at the end of the duel. He's setting up, he is! Honestly, he would have just bricked again, and all of his monsters would be high SP. That's literally what happened. Some AI, like, refuse to play stuff if they want to play something like a crush tile, but yeah. I know what to do here, actually. I know what to do. We revive, um, White Hole. Because <laughs> I actually kind of want that on the field, so... Yeah. Alright. Dun 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 dun. What the hell is this shit? Alright, attack me then. See if I care. Go on, my slate warrior's right there. He took the bait. You take that bait, my friend. All according to plan. All according to plan. Alright, what's he gonna do now? Can he just play, like, the card that we want? Before he, like, dies horribly? Don't do that. Don't do that. That could be a zone eater. Oh, so now we have a freaking white hole anyway. Well, that was a waste. What a waste. Alright.
You know what I feel like doing? I feel like attacking him directly with Rigorous, and that be the hand that uh, sends his ritual to the graveyard. That would be really cool. Um... Alright, we got Dark Hole, whatever. See you later. What a combo. I can't believe the game lets you do that. No, nothing. This is boring as fuck, man. Oh my god. How about... Hey, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, what have we sent to the graveyard? We only need one more hit to finish him off, so... Whatever. Literally all I care about is that ritual card, so I just need to hit him one more time and we're fine. So absorb all of his monsters to clear them out of the graveyard. So now his graveyard is literally just equips Fortress Wales Oath, Umi, and Heavy Storms. And it'll be a one Kairu Shin as well because of his deck leader. We can't actually do anything about that. So now we just need the Fortress Whale's Oath. That's the only card we actually care about. Against, like, for this guy. We got three chances to get it. Three chances. That is way off. That is also one off. Ah, it's one off again! No! So we gotta do that all over again. Jesus Christ. So boring. <laughs> I mean, we got really lucky with, like, a bunch of the other ones. Like, for Pegasus, we got both of his rituals in the same slots. So, yeah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, that's great! That's perfect! We got it already. Let's try this again, huh? Let's try this again. He top decked it, so we just need to attack him twice and win. Well, twice, assuming we have really through two attacks. Um. Should I do this actually? No, 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 no. Do this. This is the big brain play, right? Big brain shit. Again, that just is to clear the monsters from his graveyard, so we're less likely to hit those. Well, we're not likely to hit those at all, and instead we are more likely to actually hit the card that we want, you know? Which is just that ritual card, Fortress Wales Earth.
It's like a remote. Look. Mute you. Get muted. Change the channel. What is that? Why would he do that? Literally, why would he do that? That made sense, but the other one did not. Oh, well, it's good that he did that, because now we can just destroy that thing. Or, theoretically, it's better to attack him directly. If we draw a card, that attacks him. There we go. We could have even attacked him with the little worm thingy. What is it called? Petite Moth? Alright, can we get it this time, please? That would be great. That would be great. Alright. Nice, first try. And third. Cool. Well, we got that card, so... That's cool. Alright, next is Revive Serpent Knight Dragon. We want that from Mai, and then after this we just want the Turtle Oath. Speedrun strat time? Nah. We don't need our monsters, we literally just need rever revived Serpent Knight Dragon. Not reverved Serpent Knight Dragon. Ah. Uh, I don't want to slash this. Um, fuck it. We'll just slash one, I don't even give a shit, actually. I shouldn't have done that, because it wouldn't have flipped up and attacked me. But, whatever. Hindsight is a hell of a thing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Running away. From a rigorous lever. Alright, uh, well this is fine then. Because we can do this. No, we can't, because we've got the Soul Eater. Um... Whatever. Whatever. I don't even give a shit. I don't even give a shit. Yeah. Hey, look who it is. It revives up and I dragon. Epic. Enemy, um... We just need to win now. We just need to win. That's literally all we need to do. I kind of wish she had to play the trap so I could revive her with Mimikat. That would be cool. I just need to draw some Immortals and then attack her to death. You weren't supposed to do that. Why would you do that? Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Please just kill 
one of my regress levers. I could attack into her, but whatever. Yay, there we go, there we go, alrighty. Oh, whatever wins this duel as fast as possible, that would be great. That would be great. Punished Eagle is about to get punished by the virus. Watch. Watch. See? Easy. 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 Okay, what are we doing here? Oh my god, oh my god. I took a Slate Warrior out, so I have two. I just want to draw one of those two. And I can start attacking her. I don't know. I don't think I have any Regress Levers left. I have one, if any. Really? Uh... Man. Dancing Elf! Overpowered! This is, look, 1100 attack. Wow. So broken. So broken. The only one of her cards that can actually attack on Crush is Kanan. And that was the first card she played. So I really just have to draw some damage here. And, like, attack her. That's, like, all I actually care about. Alright, come on. Of course, she'd move there. Hoping and coping. You know your dad, my. Really, I'm over this. I'm really over this. Yay. Get benched. Alright, we just need revived Serpent Knight Dragon. From the graveyard slots, that's all we're here for. And then we go to Turtle Oath, and then we got all the rituals. And we're getting quite close, actually, to doing this, to finishing this off. So this definitely will happen within this stream. No... That was so far off the mark, that wasn't even funny. That was my fault, of course. And that was one-off. So two of them were one-off. The one on the left was just the worst slot I've ever done. That was my fault. But the other ones are bullshit. So we gotta do that all over again! Woohoo! You guys... Oh, you guys love this, don't you? Going back into the same duel and just trying to do the exact same thing again. Right? Right? My god, man, what a terrible opening hand. 
I would have really just rather we got it there, but we missed it by one on two of the three slots, so no. 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 I really don't want to do this more than once, you know? I don't want to do more than one duel of sending her cards to the graveyard and trying to get them. I don't. I really don't. What is she doing? What are you doing? <sighs> okay then. Okay then. <laughs> Alright, why did I bother to slash that hand? I should have been paying attention to what she was actually playing. Because if I slash this hand, we'll get rid of four cards instead of one measly stinking card. That's, uh, terrible. Terror bad, as they would say. Mountain, well, whatever. Whatever, my, whatever. I want to get, uh... I literally just want one ritual card, and that's it. So when she played it quite early, I was quite optimistic, you know. I thought that would be it. I thought it was going to be swift, but no. No, 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 no. Nice, defending with a mountain, and then activating it unintentionally. It's funny because that's literally, uh, the, like, the only time I've seen her activate a mountain is by double-tapping it when she's, like, when it's foot face up. Oh my freaking god, where are my actual good cards? That would be great. It would be awesome, you know, if, uh, we actually had some decent shit. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Terrible. Why do I feel so warm? I was like quite chill and cool before. Maybe I should open my door and let a bit of air in. The outside air is quite cool and there's a nice breeze. I'll use this to revive Monster Reborn, use the Monster Reborn to revive the... Regress Lever, and then slash her hand again. What else do I want to play? I should probably put a Soul Eater down first. Slate Warrior is good for, like, attacking, but... That's it. I don't really need that shit. Uh... Rigorous Lever. There we go. Alrighty. Alrighty. She 
She just decided to move that card now. What is it? All right, cool. Revive a Slate Warrior now. Attack her. What else have we got in our hand? We don't need Rigor Sleeper anymore. I do want to play the Soul Leader now. I can't revive anything in my hand if I do, but... Uh, if I take over the Rigorous Lever, I can. If I revive in the same turn, so... If I top deck Revival, I can finish her off. Ooh. I can't revive this, because it'll get eaten by Soul Leader. So, gotta hope we draw a Monster Reborn, or a Mimikat. Still technically can revive her stuff, but yeah. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, fuck. I got two cards left, man. Maybe this isn't really, you know, a good thing. Um... God, she's got so much shit in the graveyard. I don't even know. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Jesus Christ. Like, do I really have to chase her down with a soul eater to kill her? I don't want to have to. Oh, I can kill that Punished Eagle. That's good. Alright, well this is what we wanted, right? Whatever. I don't even care anymore. I just want to end the duel, then I want to get this card. That would be great. Alright. Her graveyard is going to be stacked with stuff that we don't want. It's going to have like... 15 spells and like equips and traps no way are you kidding me i really literally man if if literally just one of those three was like a pixel later we would have got one of them look at that you guys seeing this shit you guys seeing this shit man Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. This is so boring. This is the least fun farming duel out of all of them. Jesus freaking Christ. Please top deck it again. Please. Please.
Stopp dort. Stopp dort. Ah, Jesus, whatever. No, why you gotta play so many monsters? Why you gotta do that, man? Um, alright. I'll try again. Reborn, that's what we wanted. That's what we came for. Alright. Alright. Alrighty. Eventually, right? Eventually, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I can't believe how much freaking work we have to do just to get a revive Serpent Eye Dragon Ritual. At this rate, it literally would have been faster to, like, give ourselves winged beasts some warriors and then just revive her thing ourselves and perform the ritual in this duel. Ha ha. Well, they freaking died. Yo, Orkson, what's up? Thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, man. Pfft, what do we even do here? Seriously. Uh, duh, 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 duh. We are trying to collect all cards. We want one, literally just one card from her. And we've ended the duel and it's in the graveyard slot so we can collect it and we've missed it. By one, literally, it's like a graveyard slot, like literally like a slot machine, and we've missed it by one, five out of the six times. So that's really, really crap, but what actually can you do about that? I don't know. Nothing. You can't go back in time and fix it, unfortunately, so. Um... I want to do something here. Let's do this. Nice. Wait, she didn't draw a hand? What the fuck? What? Can she play? Like, what is? She, what actually is she fucking doing? What actually is she doing? That's stupid. How about she plays a god out? There you go. There you go. That's what I want to see. Yeah, the only thing to do at this point is uh, practice graveyard slots, I guess. That would that would help out, out in the future. But no. No. We got this thing eating all of our cards, so that's great. What did we draw? Anything we can play? Not really. I mean, pff, we may as well put something on the field if we're gonna slash the whole hand to the graveyard. Nothing we want. So 
So in theory here, she will attack one of the rigorous levers. Good. She. I wanted to draw a hand first. There we go. That's literally the card we want. That is literally the card we want. Finally. Finally. All right. Um. Wait a minute. Uh, enemy, does she have any cards we can revive? Harpy Lady, I guess? Darkfire Dragon... Wait a minute. I really just want to attack her and end the duel right now. Yop, yop. We should be able to end the duel in the next turn, I think. And then hopefully we f we can finally get this card. That's all. That's all we're here for. No, don't do that. Blech. Oh my god, this is. Grading. This is just offensive at this point. We have no cards left to work with, so we gotta like... Bait, somehow. Like... Let's do this. I want her to attack this white hole. That'll that maybe will work. Then I just want to attack this wing eagle with my soul eater and win the duel already and get this card already. That's really all I want to do. It's the only play I want to go for right now. No, don't defend, you fucking asshole, man. Oh, why? Oh, why? Alright. Now, do this again. Go ahead. Kill my white hole. It's right, right there for you to attack. I know you want to attack my white hole. I know you want to, want to get in there. What am I even saying? Holy shit. <sighs> really? Gonna do that? Um, okay, the only sensible play here is this. The Kanan should go here, and then we attack the Kanan. That's the only thing we can do now. We literally have, like, no cars. We've got no life points. There we go. Oh, my God. I Man, if we don't get the... If we don't get the Revive Serpent Knight Dragon here, this is going to be massively insulting. These are literally like 17 turn long duels just to get this one card. Please, can we just get this card? Pray for me, please. Oh my god, please, before I have a goddamn heart attack. Yes! Oh! You see that? That was instantly. I anticipated that like a... I don't know. I don't know what. I don't even know. I don't even care. Alright, we got one more ritual card to get. Which is the Turtle Oath. And then... And then... 
We can go to uh, Grandpa. All right, let's get this uh, turtle oath, and then we can go to Grandpa after that. Actually, no, we have to we have to summon all the ritual monsters, and then we we go to Grandpa. I think we'll do Grandpa at the end, so that we can cap this off with an Exodia summon at the end, just to make it really climactic. Um. Just, just, why not? Oh, A+. Plus. Congratulations, Ishtar, you absolutely suck. Congratulations, you killed your own monster by playing it on Crush. Excellent work there, friend. Top effort, Chief. Alright, what are you gonna do now? Alright, whatever. Congratulations. You played yourself. Why didn't she want to play anything? Fuck it. Kill this thing. Kill it. Get it off my screen. No. No. No, uh, no ritual card. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We just need to keep sending her hands to the graveyard until that ritual is in her graveyard, and then we're fine. I was optimistic, but it seems like it's at the bottom half of her deck, which is not cool. We've only really done a quarter of her deck. I don't know what I'm saying. It literally could just be in this hand. It could just be in this hand. Uh... She can tank another hit, so I'm just going to hit her directly here with this card. Hey, there it is! Woohoo! Alright. Um, well, we need to get in the graveyard slots now. That's all I care about. One more follow-up attack, and then we get this card from the graveyard slots, and we're done. We are officially done on this duel. Don't need to come back here. What is that? What are you doing? What actually is she doing? Someone help. I don't have a new sub goal yet, so there's that. I need a- oh, this is exactly 100 damage. Um, I kind of need to wait until a bunch of like the gift bombs expire, because I'm probably gonna tank like 20 or so subs within the next week or so. So I've not set a new sub goal since this. Nice. First try. Oh, we get a three in a row. Yes, we will. We got a three in a row of Barrel Dragon. That's actually the second three in a row we've got in this playthrough, and they've both been Barrel Dragons, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no. We got a Summon Skull before, so. Well then, I think we've got all the rituals. So, that's good. That's how that other duel should have gone. Um, So, we have everything except zero, which we use zero to ritual summon. Yeah, so this will be zero. Cool, so we need, um, we need, this is Anti-Rageki. This is Summon Lord Exodia. There's an Aqua we're missing. Ah, oh, okay, so that's Crab Turtle. There'll be a few monsters that we're missing, so. Hmm. We actually, we need to go into Seto to do the Blue Eyes 
ultimate dragon. So... Let's get rid of the soul eaters. Need to do the blue eyes ultimate dragon ritual, which it's easy to do with Seto. How many are left now? Not much. 20 max? Where is my ultimate? Do I not have ultimate dragon ritual? I do. I honestly, I have it on my screen, but I need to like manually count, so um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one cards left. We're getting there. This will be done at the end of the stream for sure. So, um, even if it takes me a few hours longer than I expect, I can stay up for that. Um, wait a damn freaking minute. Sword of Dragon Soul. Let's get some warriors in here. Literally just some random warriors that I can equip with that. Because then his uh, blue eyes will attack into my dudes. Uh, hold on a minute. No, 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 no. We need, uh, we don't need, but I'll grab change of heart and brain control. That way, uh, if he has a blue eyes on the field that I can't reach, I can just take control of it and then ritual summon it. If I have three blue eyes on the field. Alright. So yeah, instead of actually getting three Blue Eyes White Dragons, we're just going to use this guy's Blue Eyes White Dragons to be able to summon the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And then we'll probably go to the Custom Duel and do everything else pretty much. Be smart about this. Try and only slash his hand when there's four cards in it. I don't know how actually likely that is, but I want to hold on to this dark hole in my hand anyway. Well, uh. So, unless he just... He doesn't play the white hole, this is fine. So if you guys don't know, only the first white hole that's played actually ever works. So even if he plays white hole now, um, it doesn't actually matter. I now we got a darkness approach, as I definitely need to play that. A run. Yeah, overzealous. It's not a speed run, it's just a run. Alright, um... Let's do this. It's not a speed run, it's just a run. That's it. It's all we ever wanted, right? It's all we ever wanted. So, uh, now we do this as well. We didn't even add our own Blue Eyes White Dragon in the deck. That's really the stupidest thing I've done in a while. There you go. Clear as all field. This game is very, very balanced, by the way. Uh, right. So we got one Blue Eyes in the graveyard. Don't think you've seen a lot of these cards. 
If you have, if there's a card you haven't seen, feel free to let me know. Um, sorry, I'll, uh, these were, I wanted to keep a dragon, you know? I actually wanted to keep a dragon. Uh, let me know what you haven't seen before, and then I'll tell you what card that is. We want three Blue-Eyes White Dragon on the field, and then we want to play our uh, Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon Ritual. What else do I have? We just... I just want to play one warrior. Because this is all of the warriors we have, and I only wanted one to play the, um... Sword of Dragon Soul with it. Hey, there's the anti Rageki. Um, so we do want to actually unironically revive that. We can use a uh, Grave Robber for that, unless I've... Okay, yeah, we can use Grave Robber for that. <laughs> I want him to play one card, not two. Yeah, okay. Alright, good. Good. Hey, well, why is he defending with that? Why would you defend with that, my my man? There's the ultimate ritual which we have. Um. Uh. <laughs> shit, man. All right, why don't we do this then? I'm just gonna do this. If he attacks us with the blue eyes, then that's great. That's actually exactly what we want. What are you doing? Gotta wipe his field, you know? I don't know what's on it, but... Yeah. If we just get rid of all of his shit to the graveyard, we can probably take time to set up as long as we still have enough revival stuff. So... Alright, so the rigorous levers are sending both hands to the graveyard. If I don't have a hand drawn, it doesn't send them to the graveyard, it only sends his hand. Um, so basically what I'm doing is sending all of his cards to the graveyard because I want to revive his cards. Um, I'm here so that I can send all of his Blue-Eyes White Dragons to the graveyard, and then revive them, and then play Ultimate Dragon. So that Ultimate Dragon, uh, Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon shows up in my graveyard, that's literally it. Um, okay. There's one more blue eyes, so that's good. I just need him to play one more blue eyes. Um, let's just do this, I guess. I can't revive my darkness approaches anymore, I'm stupid. Because I used my thing to revive something else. So that's epic. Why did I do that? That's a good sign. I really hope that that's a blue eyes. Really genuinely hope that that's a blue eyes. Yes, alright. 
Um, unless I burned all my revival cards, I'm pretty sure I should have one more. I can revive this and then play the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I still need anti Regeki, but... I need two more revival cards, actually. This is kind of dicey. Really, it was a massive mistake that I didn't include my own blue eyes. It was a huge mistake that I didn't include my own blue eyes because that would have made this a lot easier. No, it doesn't. I can play it myself, I just need to have bl three blue eyes white dragon on my field. Dude, look at that sword stalker, it's stacked as fuck. Okay, um, so this is a good sign. So... What did we just activate? Engraver, I was gonna say, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, rituals in this game are a very trash mechanic. They did it to kind of spice up the game and I guess make it more interesting to collect things. But it's a very inefficient way to bring out damage. Because uh, you have to play, basically, it takes you like four turns to set it up, right? Four turns to set it up. What do I have in my hand? Monster Reborn. I'm fucking stupid. So I should have used Monster Reborn to revive the Blue Eyes and then Mimikat to revive his anti Rageki. Alright, whatever. Ultimate Dragon, here we go. L Actually, I just realized he has Magic Jammer, but he doesn't on the field, so thank god. That would have been very, 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 very lame. Alright, what else have I got? If I have one more Spell Revival card, I can get his uh, anti regeki I don't think I do, though. No. Nah. On the contrary, I can do this. I can revive Magician of Faith. This is, yep, this is the play. This is absolutely the play. Revive Magician of Faith so I can flip it back up. And then I can play here as anti Rageki. So that's in my library now as well. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, I could probably end the turn here and surrender, but I'm gonna let the turn end and then surrender. Alright, cool. I'm glad that I didn't choke that entirely. There's the anti Rageki. There's the Blow's Ultimate Dragon. That's sorted. Okay, so we have two steps left now, pretty much. Ritual summon all the ritual monsters that we haven't done, and then we go to um, Grandpa, and then we got to revive his cards and Exodia and stuff like that. So triple save or double save or whatever, and then it's time to make a deck that's just literally ritual cards and monsters to, to do that. Alright. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Right, 
so we need to do Millennium Shield, um, Yamadron We can circumvent that by doing Yamatana Dragon Scroll and something else. Gate Guardian, Black Luster Ritual, War Lion. What haven't we haven't? We just got to do everything we haven't done really. My god. Alright, what do we need here? Let's just write it out here. Yes, duelists have the ritual cards. Um, like, pff, almost all of them do. I can't really count the exact, but... Most of them you actually have to get from the opponents. Um, there are actually most... Like, you're intended to reincarnate to get some. But most of them are actually, the only way to get them is actually from getting them from your opponent's slot so they don't have a password or reincarnation or anything. Stuff like Dark Magic Ritual, you actually have to get... from Yugi. Oh my god. So I'm just writing down what I need to include in my deck to actually summon these. Can't fit everything in one go, obviously. Yamadron we do separately. This is gonna be the beast deck. No, I'm literally just chucking in whatever monsters I can to do this right. Um, great. This is gonna be fucking ridiculous. Uh, um, alright. What do I actually, actually need? This is going to be frustrating, but whatever. We need some low attack stuff to... We need insect, we need machines.
Name sort. Alright, what do we need here? Nothing of this is in alphabetical order. I literally just fucking had to do it however I was supposed to. We do need spellcasters though, so we can include them. Uh... We need like Dark Elf as well if we're gonna do this shit. Man, this is so confusing. Apparently we need a uh, wing beast or something. <laughs> what fiends we need? Wicked mirror and uh, fiend reflection number one. Why do I have to say Yayu in here? Don't need that. Let's ignore turtle oath for now. Ignore this for now. God, this is really unorganized. Maybe I should put in one ritual and then include the materials one at a time. But if I just do a few materials things now, then maybe that will help. You know. I include Gaia. Yeah, I did. Dark Magician, yeah. Got it. Zombie machine and insect. I need a zombie. Let's just add a zombie in and then fucking call this. Need to make a deck leader too. What have we got? What have we got? Give me an immortal or something. I don't know. I don't actually care what the deck leader is. Minor. Yeah, Millennium Shield is a ritual in this game. You need uh, three monsters within a defense of 2,000 or higher to play it, so, yeah. Wait, but why am I editing this? I'll just use one of the things that I have set up already. This. This is so unorganized, I'm just going to scrap all that that I've written. Um, one Fiend? We could mirror and Fiend Reflection, okay. I got a Fiend. Ah, oh, don't do that. Oh my god. It doesn't actually matter, it just means that each of his turns takes a slightly longer time. Water emotics. I don't even have water emotics in my deck, so that's pointless to play this card. I'm pretty sure I took the Revive Serpent Knight Dragon out, so the Winged Beasts are pointless. This is really the most un unorganized thing and unprepared thing that I've done so far. Just really adding in shit and hoping that it adds up to something. I know that I have all the materials for Gate Guardian, so I don't actually also don't have um, Leo Gun yet. That's kind of a problem. I'm hoping to just play a few of these rituals and then just take that shit out. We're not going to be summoning this. We have nothing really to go with that, so... I don't have Mysterious Puppeteer, so I can't play that puppet ritual. Very, very, very unplanned. I don't have the materials for this either, so that's very, very good. I, if I summon like two rituals here, I will be fine. Honestly, this is a disaster. Don't have mech base. Don't have mech base. I can summon uh, Yugi's Rituals here, so maybe I should just prioritize those. Two Warrior Mystical Elf, I actually can summon this. Technically. I should have another Warrior somewhere. Unless I dumped the ones that I have. 
Do I even have another warrior? I have a sword stalker. Yeah, I have a sword stalker. I can't play this. Um... This is so cringe. Look at this. Alright. Um, so we can play this. Mystical Elf and two Warriors. So that's that. What have I got? Low attack. Low attack. Alright, I can do dark magic ritual next, so that's good. I don't have a saga. I don't have the shit for this. Don't have that. So I'll get rid of those. Um, should try to do Gate Guardian here, I guess. I don't know what else I can even do here. This is really like spaghetti. Can't. I can technically do this? No, I can't. I dumped my zombie. So this is screwed. I know, right? So, this is a very good example of why rituals suck. Okay, so... This requires Dark Magician and two other low attack monsters. So imagine turn 1 you play a monster, turn 2 you play a monster, turn 3 you play Dark Magician, turn 4 you play the Ritual card to summon this. So that's four turns to summon this. Or you could just put a Dark Energy on Dark Magician and you would have the same attack, Dark Spellcaster. Uh, the, the Ritual mechanic of this is just terrible. It's really bad. What was the requirement for this? I don't know. Two spellcaster? We've already dumped the Mask of Darkness, so that's gone. Um, This is looking dicey. I don't, yeah, I think we're just bottom decking the Gate Guardian pieces. Or not. Did I not? Im I put the other ones here. What the fuck? Where are my Gate Guardian pieces? I'm pretty sure I put them in the deck. What? I guess I didn't. Did I really dump my... No, my guy is right there. Okay. I can play this. So that's good. Um, just need to bring out one more low attack monster. Where's my... I didn't put a sewage in my deck? Really? Is it in the graveyard? Or oh, whatever. Where is my sewage in? It's just not in my deck. What the hell, man? Alright. <clears throat> that's some of the rituals done, so that's something. Damn. That's interesting. Got a giant 
fucking, it's not giant, but there is a pretty decent size daddy long leg spider just crawling across the wall. That's probably the biggest spider I've ever seen in my room, actually. Cool. That's awesome. Good for you. Good for you, Spider-Man. Alright. Yeah, he's just vibing. It's not a deadly spider, it's a daddy long leg, so I don't actually care. He's fine. He's whatever. Um, let's get rid of what we don't need to play. Dude, he's like quite big. That's got to be like one of the biggest actual daddy long legs I've ever seen. That's nuts. Um... Two fish and mech base. Let's get rid of all these monsters, honestly. Let's just start this shit from scratch. Hey, here he is. He's climbing on my phone. What are you doing, buddy? Climbing under my desk, huh? Man's just freaking disappeared. That's great. Did he fall down, or did he... I don't know if he's under my desk. Hold on. It's a mystery, man. It's a fucking mystery. I mean, as long as he doesn't crawl on me and make me shit myself, I don't really care. Um, it's not a deadly spider, so I genuinely don't really mind. Otherwise, I would have probably dealt with it instantly. Let's just start this shit from scratch, honestly. Millennium Shield. Gate Guardian. War Lion. Beastly Mirror. I don't know why this isn't written in my thing, but it should be. I really should just write this shit while I'm here. take me longer than I thought. Because I'm stupid. Commencement dance? Why isn't commencement dance here either? What the fuck? Oh, there he is. He's there again. How the hell did he end up there? I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. Just teleported, I guess. get a cup and send him back out the backyard because he seems to be struggling in this room it's not the environment for him that he wants to be in I don't think hamburger recipe does not involve a spider how do I not have hamburger recipe here how do I not I think I know why because it was a password one hamburger rekype Okay.
let's just, you know, do these one at a time. Um, Sangha, make sure we actually put in Suijin. We've got two Suijin, I'll put in two of them, because one of them's useful for high defense. War Lion Ritual, we want Leogun. There's quite a lot of 1750s at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wow, more than I thought. Commencement dance, we want a wing beast. A warrior. Let's do a four star warrior. Water Remotics. Where is Water Remotics? Such a random ritual thing. Uh. There we go. Fiend, Wicked Mirror, and Fiend Reflection. Fiend Reflection number one. Alright, why don't we go name sort? Actually, type and then name sort seems to be the play. Fiend Reflection number one isn't a fiend or what? What is it? It's a wing beast, of course it is. Uh, hamburger recipe. We want battle. We want griggle, battle steer, and bio plan. So many GRs. Holy crap, there are a lot of GR cards. My god. That's like, this is totally a trivia thing. How many cards in this game start with GR? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 13. 13 cards in this game start with GR. That is so wild. Anyway, we did Griggle. Now we want Battle, Steer, and Bio Plant. What else can we add? We can keep going. We'll add in... Something else. Turtle Oath... Aqua and 30k. G Grattle Steer! Two Aqua Monsters. But... And, um... Two Millennium Golem, because fuck it. And then, uh, more Wing Beasts. Sorry, Beast Warriors. It should be on this side, yeah. And then what have we got left? How many slots? We could fit in... I guess another one. Oh, that's right. We actually need to put Revival Send again. So we'll do one more. We've done No Vox's Prayer. And Curse of Trihorn Dragon. Curse of Dragon, Feral and Kamori Dragon. Alright. Curse of Dragon be up here. It's added a Mimikat, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Mm. 
There's like seven rituals we can summon here. Calm down, buddy. What is he doing? Really? He didn't have SP, and then now he wants to play something? How is that possible? Um... Fuck, we get rid of Riran. That's only there as a height events card. We got plenty more. Not plenty more, but we got a few more, and like, if we just need to cycle through the deck and play something to keep the ball rolling... Um, cool! See what else we draw, honestly. Commencement dance isn't looking likely at this point, so fuck it. So we can use a ritual monster as material for the Curse of Millennium Shield anyway, so if we like suddenly randomly draw that card. There we go. I'll keep these face up so I actually know what monsters I've got in the field and I have to keep manually checking them. Carrot Idol is just supposed to be a high... Okay, there we go. This is good. Look at this. Already we got the Gate Guardian out of the way. Woo! That's handy. Wait, I have two sewage gins! I'm stupid! I'm stupid! Look at that, there's two sewage gins and no Kazajin. I'm so stupid. Whatever. Um, well, you know what? Fuck it. We'll do... Um... God, that's so shit. That's so shit. We can do... What's it called? <laughs> I just want to summon Gate Guardian to get it out of the way. We can do the... Curse of Millennium Shield. We have a Mimikat, actually, so... Alright, um... Got two things that's out for the hamburger recipe. So, I just need Kazogen, Mimikat the freaking the other ritual, but we'll probably have to get rid of this, so. Alright, Bio Plant, Griggle. This is so bad. This is really trash. I have a Carrot Idol out. No, I dumped it. Trihorn Dragon is not happening at this rate, so let's get rid of that. Solomon's Law Book, help me. Help me do something less stupid. Help me from failure. Oh my god. Alright, um... Okay, so... We only need Battle Steer for the hamburger recipe. So. I'm gonna Mimicat. Mystical Sand. No, I'm gonna Mimicat the Gate Guardian, and then when I actually play the Kazajin, then I'll play it. And we'll get those out of the way. And we can get rid of all that crap. <laughs> oh, cool. That's nice. So, Griggle, Bio Plant, and uh, Battle Steer. We actually need to flip these up. I just kind of want to confirm that I have these on the field. This should work. This should work. Yay. Yay! So, hamburger recipe is done. That's good. Look at it, it's a burger! Isn't- doesn't that make you hungry, that burger? Look at him. It's just a dancing burger, look at him go. Look at him fucking go. Dancing burger, dude. 
Beastly Mirror. Okay, what do we need? A Fiend, Wicked Mirror, Fiend Reflection. I think I got rid of Fiend Reflection, did I? Yeah, it did. Well, poo. That's fine. Get rid of all this stuff. We can get rid of this. Get rid of... Uh... Actually, we'll keep this Moisty Creature as a high defense card. We can do the Millennium Shield, dude. I know I'm keeping a warrior. What do I need that for? Uh, commencement dance, so that's trash. I just want to play Kazogen, really. We might also have one more high defense card in our deck. I don't actually know. I don't think so, but... Here we go. That's, uh... Now, look! Now we actually have the pieces of the Millennium Puzzle. Gay Guardian's done. So that's good. We need a high defense monster. I don't even think we have one yet. We need a 2k or higher defense monster somehow. I don't think we have that. Yeah, we don't. Aqua... Uh, 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 no, we got nothing. We got nothing. We actually, funny, we actually have the Trihorn Dragon materials there. We just don't have that card anymore. Um, But it's fine. So there's now six ritual monsters in this deck to summon, and then we gotta move on to there's another eight. We'll organize our deck for that after. Um this is a good sign. This is a good sign. Mimic out right off the bat. That'll that'll fix major errors. We also, um, the Curse of Millennium Shield is a warrior, so we can actually technically use that for one of the rituals. So, we could, like, speedrun summon this. We'll see how we go. I want to see, before dumping everything, I actually want to see what we top deck, because then that kind of helps. There we go. Wing Beast, Warrior, Water Remotic, so... So if I make a Warrior out of these high defense cards, then I can play Wing Beast and Water Remotic. And play these two. Guys, what's your favorite ritual monster? I don't mean, like, they're all shit to summon, just, like, aesthetically or whatever. Anything goes. Whether you think it's a cool monster visually or, you know... Cosmo Queen is incredible. Her effect is very, very good. It's like a terrain card! Oh my god! Alright, we're not playing the ritual this one anymore. So, this one is gone. She's also a waifu. I'm just gonna say it. I wanna... another high defense card. That's good. This is good. We got three high defense cards, we can play Millennium Shield. And then this counts as a warrior.
which we can use for commencement dance, so. Look at that, a thousand bonus to defense. Uh, wow, look at that, look at that. I don't know, I think Gate Guardian is one of those things that's so popular that I'm immune to its, like, cool factor. I was always, like, a hipster, you know, with Blue Eyes White Dragon. I just did not care about Blue Eyes White Dragon whatsoever. I just... Nah. Wasn't for me. You know. As a kid, I cared about basically everything but what was depicted as the strongest monsters in the game. How are they going to beat the 3,000 defense? I don't know! It's 4,000 defense, actually. Look at this. Look, 4,000. It's 3,000 plus 1,000. That's... Wow, you, you can't beat that, right? It's impossible. Um... Commencement Dance. I got Wing Beast. I got a Warrior. I got, what am I even trying to play here? I know, right? It's so powerful. It's almost as powerful as Zodia. But it's not. It's really not. Feralim... Oh my god, can I play anything that's, like, good here? No. War Lion Ritual, get on the field. I want to see what else I top deck before I decide what I play next. Yep, Shield and Sword is in this game. You can get it from Joey. Wait a minute. Why... I don't need this on the field. I've already summoned... I mean, a Beast Warrior is good for some reasons, but it's like... Jesus Christ. What do I even want? War Lion, Turtle Oath... I don't know. Broken. Well, the funny thing is, it actually really, like, wouldn't be that broken, because the way it would work is, it would turn this card to 3,000 attack and zero defense, so then if you put this in defense mode, you'd get 3,000 attack and 1,000 defense, otherwise if it was an attack mode, it would only be 3,000 attack, and you're literally just better off playing any card that has 3,000 attack. You can play one out of the hand, no problem. Like, it's not a big deal. What is going on here? I have all the materials that I need for the Trihorn Dragon, but I do not have that card. I don't think I dumped it, right? Yeah, this, uh, this game just doesn't give a fuck about anything else but itself, really, so... Yo, Mega, what's up? Thanks for the good luck. Oh, I do have, uh, some juicy, juicy stuff. You're going to walk. You're going to walk. You're going to work. Well, um, I would say enjoy, but I don't really know if that's how it works. Are you like on your way to work, or are you just saying like you're going and you can't really be responsive right now? Is that what you mean? I want to do this. Curse of Trihorn Dragon. So you're going to be active on your way there, or no? You're just going now? You're gonna say goodbye? You're gonna leave me behind? No! Alright, well, thanks for stopping in and saying good luck. And I hope work goes fast for you, man. Thanks so much for popping in. I do really appreciate it. Massively. Turtle Earth. Can I get a card that... Here, here's the card I want. Okay. Curse of Dragon Dragon. Cool. Cross that off my list. Have a good day. So we've got that under wraps. Uh, what else are we even trying to summon here? I haven't even added that 30,000 year white turtle into my deck, I don't think. I was supposed to, but, you know. War Lion. Um, okay. We've done hamburger recipe. 
If I can get two more beasts out, I have one in my hand, then I can play the War Lion. You guys like Chimera? I kind of forget this card is like a Yugi Ace card in the second season. We are not playing this anymore. It's just not going to happen. We have Warline Ritual. I just need a beast, right? Yeah, okay. I'll just commit to this then. <laughs> Look at that. Beast, beast, Leer gun. How many have I got left? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're getting there. Wing beast, warrior, water remotics. I don't even have a warrior anymore, so... Do I even have a water remotics? I'm pretty sure I added a water remotics. So do it surely. At this rate, it's going to be done by tonight, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not in a rush. Turtle Oath. I don't even have 30... Okay, whatever. Whatever. He did. Silver Fang! Oh, he just plays cards in defense modes and lets them blow up. Hey, Contessa, what's going on? Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well! I hope you've had lots of delicious cake. Black Forest cake. Alright, we've done this, we've done that. War Lion, we just did that. We did hamburger recipe. Did we do Curse of Trihorn Dragon? We did. Turtle Earth, we haven't done. I just want to add those in so that we know we don't have to play them. You're doing good? Awesome. That's good to hear. That's awesome. It's midway through the week. So, you know, it's always good to see how people are doing. It's almost Thursday for me. Yo, what's up, Crooked Cop? How are you going? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Celtic Guardian's a real boss. Is it? Is it, though? It's funny how it how it has a effect in this game. It's kind of funny. How's the run going? We've got like I don't know, fifteen or sixteen cards left at this point. I'm just trying to ritual summon all the rituals, and then we're gonna go and do the rest of the stuff on what's it called? We're gonna go to Grandpa and do the rest of the stuff there. Because we have to summon Exodia, and we're going to do that by, like, reviving his cards and then doing that, so. We don't need Leo Gun anymore. Need a Wing Beast and a Warrior. We need a Wing Beast and a Warrior. For this summon. Not a beast warrior. Jesus. Do the try and drag. We don't need Feralim. We don't need like any of these cards. We need the beast warriors, kind of. Um I dump one. We'll put them off to the side. Because that will be used for summoning Sen Genjin. Am I trying to get all cards? Yep. What does my uh, title say out of curiosity? Is it incorrect? Did I get it wrong?
Here we go. Send Genjin. Two Beast Warriors and... So I just need one more Beast Warrior for this guy. It says Duelist of the Roses, does it? Or does it say Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, all cards run, dash, can we finish today, question mark, question mark, question mark, for the 100 out of 100 sub goal, exclamation mark, all cards, exclamation mark, emotes, exclamation mark, discord, exclamation mark, dot of discord. Um, oh, okay. We can do Sen Genjin right now. Or do we move this card already? Cool. Sen Genjin is done. That's nice. <laughs> Look at this guy, man. Look at him. Dude, this guy is pissed. He is so angry. Whoa. Scary. Turtle Oath. What is his effect? He does uh, 900 points bonus in battles against rock monsters. What's up, Shiro? Uh, I did try on drag. I don't need this stuff. What am I doing, honestly? Beastly mirror. Why did I keep this winged beast? I still need one, I guess. I need a warrior now. Yo, Brad, what's up? How's your cards run going? Uh, it's going alright. We still have like 15 cards to get, approximately. I'm trying to ritual summon stuff. Beastly Mirror, Turtle Oath. We are getting close. It will be done in this stream, unless, I don't know, something tragic happens. I need a warrior, a wing beast. Uh, I got a wing beast, so I just need a warrior. Uh, right? Yeah. Alright, so warrior, wing beast, water emotics. Commencement dance is done! That's something. I got beastly mirror still. Turtle oath. I still didn't add that freaking turtle to my deck, I'm stupid. So I can't summon that, because I'm bad. Beastly Mirror. Fiend, Wicked Mirror, Fiend Reflection. Do I even have any of these left? I got a Fiend. Hey, it's your birthday, Pandora! So I was live for it. Happy birthday! I hope you had a great birthday celebration, Pandora. Everyone who's here, if you want to be awesome and nice to Pandora, it is her birthday. I'm sure she would very much appreciate any happy birthday wishes that you guys have. Um... Okay. So we got a Fiend, Wicked Mirror, we need Fiend Reflection number one, so we'll Mimic Cat that. There we go. We got Beastly Mirror. I would sing happy birthday, but, uh, I don't want to get sued into the ground. What's the Spongebob, like, version? Is it like, 
Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday cake. Happy birthday. I hope you had a great celebration. I hope you had plenty of cake. I hope you got showered with gifts. Well, not literally, like, gifts being, like, you know, dropped on you, but... You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Um... Okay. So, now we go... What else have we got? Revive Serpent Knight Dragon. Um, Resurrection of Chakra. Uh, puppet Ritual still. Some of these aren't written, so I've got like probably 20. Javelin Beetle Pact. Gama Sword. Cosmo Queen's Prayer. Dokoro Rider. Fortress Whale's Oath. Alright. <clears throat> you didn't get much, didn't ask much. Yeah, that's kind of how birthdays are. Like, when you get older and older and older, you're just like, eh. Just get me something that you know that I like that I'm not going to buy for myself in my spare time. I asked for, like, this skincare thing, like, this one serum that I use as part of my routine, but, like, I'm literally, like, I need it now, not in, like, weeks from now, so I'm probably just gonna go buy it myself. Because... I need that shit. Skincare is, uh, very important to me. For reasons. Gama Sword Oath. How do I not have this here? Puppet Ritual. Like... Um, Constructive Mask. I don't think I even ended up doing that. Why is it, like, not here? This is gonna take me another goddamn hour. Or, like, more. Also, I probably should just add in my Yamadron guy. Yeah, Yamatano Dragon Scroll. Because I need to summon Yamadron as well, so... Alright, uh, uh, um, let's see. I need... Why is Petite Moth in A? Add in all this, like, low attack, low deck cost stuff. Your last crochet plushie. How did it turn out? What, uh, plushie was it? I need Visago. Um, I want, uh, Hercules Beetle.
I want Sword Stalker. Oh, it's down here. 41 in the orange section. There we go. Alright, Dark Elf. Where the hell is Dark Elf? I need to fusion summon it. I don't actually have a hard copy of the card. Well, that's interesting. Um, we will go back to that one. <laughs> I got mas machine zombies and insect, that's fine. I need a mech base. Mech base and two fish. Warrior, Wing Beast, Dark Fire Dragon. Um, Alright, let's get some Wing Beasts. Yeah, post it in my Discord. That'd be awesome. That would be sweet. I would love to see it, actually. We need some Dark Fire Dragon. We need Dark Fire Dragon. No, not that. What the hell's that? Dark Fire Dragon. How many slots have we got left? I'm running out. Machine, Machine, Mysterious. We we'll just add Mysterious Puppeteer, wherever the hell it is. Oh, we got two of them. Alright, I'll add in both of them. Sword Stalker we've added, Warrior, Warrior, we got Warriors. I need Spellcasters and uh, Mask of Darkness. Where is Mask of Darkness? Re you know what Mask of Darkness reminds me of actually is uh, Heart of Darkness. You guys know that game? Terrifying game, right? Emotionally draining, totally friendly kids game. Heart of Darkness. Cute and goofy. So it's like a toon monster, right? It gains your plushie gains bonus attack and defense and toon terrain, right? That's how it works. This is going to be a train wreck. I don't have uh, the stuff for Cosmo Queen's Prayer. So I'm going to put that at the bottom here. Alright, Chakra. Chakra! We just need a Visago. Because we've got some low attack shit. I'm only flipping the monsters up so I actually know what I have on the field without having to, like, flip over them. Uh, what game before? What game? What? Oh, right, Heart of Darkness. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It does look cool. I remember we had that as a kid and I didn't understand. I don't know, I... Me as a kid is just weird. Like, I don't really think I understood what scary things were. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm still afraid of things that most people are afraid of now. You know, like, I'm not, like, terrified of heights, but I understand that it's scary. And, like, you know, if I'm high up and I look down, I'm like, ooh. But, I don't know. I thought, like, fiends and, like, demons and shit were cool. So, you know... Alright, this shit ain't working. Let's get some other stuff onto the field.
Gimme Chakra! Gimme Visago! That's what I want. I wasn't scared by normal stuff. I'm not saying I wasn't scared of anything, but like... I just kind of didn't get a lot of like horror. Rayman 2 scared you. Rayman Revolution? Right? I just want to play something here. This is a spaghetti deck. I know Rayman 2 is Rayman 2, but I grew up with Rayman Revolution, not even knowing it was Rayman 2. Um, but I'm glad. Alright, hold on. Alright, cool. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's get uh, Chakra on the field. Let's see what monsters it will decide to take. Chakra is done. Use wool that has tinsel in it. Whoa, that's insane. That's so good. What is that from? Is that a unique thing? Like, that's hectic. I can't believe that. That's so well made. Well done. It is a little bit terrifying. It is in the uncanny valley, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. That is I could not make anything like that, no matter how hard I tried. Very well done. It looks exactly like I imagine you intended it to. That's very well done. Alright, we got a machine. I dumped my zombie. We have armored zombies still, so. I don't know why I'm playing a warrior. Machine, insect, and zombie we need. We don't need the chakra anymore either. Mech base. Fish. Alright, well, fuck. Yeah, literally, look at this pog champ. Look at that shit. Yo, Zeno, what's up? Hope you're doing good. Ah, I'm doing amazing. Thank you very much for asking. I hope you're doing well too, man. Hope you're still on the grind, you know? Still on the grind. Ooh, look at this. Let's get that Yamatron up. I hope you're doing well, Zeno Knight. Hope your week is treating you well. Are you guys doing anything exciting this weekend, by the way? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I don't actually do that. You don't have to, but... I think I got rid of my Fortress Whale... Oath. Yeah, I did. I should still have a Mimikat, I think? It's your first project. Well, that's pretty damn good for a first project. Like a first serious finished project. That's quite mind-blowing. I must say. Machine. I don't have insects anymore. I think I just need to get this out onto the field. I don't know why I'm keeping that machine. I should get rid of it. At this point, I want to mimic out my uh, Fortress Whale's Oath and then summon that. I don't know what else I can do. Hey, we got a Yamadron. Nice. Well, that's that done. Look at this amazing effect. Amazing effect. It just changes things to normal terrain. Alright, no more Serpent Knight Dragon possible. Did I get rid of Mimica? What the hell is going on? I have no insect left, so... What can I even do here? Machine, fish, fish. Sorry, mech base, fish, fish. Uh, unless I have Mimic out of the bottom of my deck, I don't know if I've already played it. Um, what the hell, man? Well, that was a failure. Uh, 
Um, I did one ritual, I guess. Yo, Baines, what's up? Hope you like the new Wink emote. You've been sick for a while. Hope you're better by the weekend. Yeah, hopefully you are better as well. Uh, make sure you're taking care of yourself. I always say this. I know I'm a nanny, but if you're sick, first priority is to stay hydrated. Second priority is nutritious food. Now, obviously, you're going to take medicine if you're that sick. I get that. That's why I'm kind of ignoring the obvious. Like, I don't want to state the obvious. But sometimes you're in a situation where you actually can't get... Um, medicine or whatever, or you're like, hold off at home, you can't leave the house. Stay hydrated. Next priority is... I, I don't know why I have Cosmo Queen Spread here. Next priority is nutritious food. If you're sick enough to a point where you can't get nutritious, tr nutritious food in you, try to get the easiest calories as possible, is my advice. Anything that's like easy energy to consume, make sure you have some energy to burn if you are struggling to like feed yourself. We don't need this anymore. We'll get rid of that. Like, if it's impossible to get, like, good food in you, I don't know, like, drink some orange juice or something like that. It's probably the play. We only need a machine after this. If we want to play Docker or Rider. I just need a machine. And get that out of the way. It's sexy, Jesus. Don't get too excited. Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Revive Serpentine Dragon is on the field. Uh, Turtle Oath. We got too much shit to be able to play the Gama Sword. I just want to play Machine and get Gama Sword on the field, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, sorry, um, Docker Rider, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I may as well play one of these. Because then I just need one more Aqua on the field, which I should have. I can play Turtle Oath. Yeah, I just need a machine or an Aqua, and I can play one of my rituals. Have puppet ritual? I don't know. I actually don't know. I should have dumped the Fasago as well. That's it for Dokoro Rider. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We need a one aqua, not a fish. We have, we have material for, um, okay. What happens when you flip up ritual and you don't have more materials? Nothing. You flip up the card and then it just doesn't do anything. That's it. Machine, machine. I just want one more aqua. We can also play the Puppeteer, we just need two machines, which we have. I can play one more machine on the field, I guess. Get rid of the Docker Rider, so I have one more space to play a monster. Aqua! Yay! Nice. Do 
Turtle Oath is done. Crab Turtle, look at that. So I want two machines on the field. Um, and then I can play the Mysterious Pop Ritual. Fish, Aqua. I don't need Aqua anymore, so... Crab Turtle is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty damn cool. I don't know if I... I think I dumped my fish, right? Yeah, shit. Oh, that sucks. Where did my Mimikat go anyway? I really should have one of those in the deck. I've got another fish, that's good. Alright, Machine Machine Warrior. So we do Puppet Ritual. Sorry, Machine Machine Mysterious Puppeteer. So this should be Puppet Ritual done. Yep, nice. And I got Fortress Whale's Oath, I think, on the field, so... Yeah, nice. So, two fish, and the mech base. And then that will be... Fortress Whale's Oath done. I don't even know why I flipped this card up, I know it's on the field, but whatever. Mech base, fish, fish. Fortress Wales Oath is done. I have, uh, to my knowledge, five more ritual monsters to summon, and then we do the rest of the stuff for Grandpa, and we're going to summon Exodia next to him. I also am going to use a bathroom, because I kind of was hoping to have these done before I did that, but I, it, it's taken longer, so I'll be right back. Oh my god. I can't believe we're actually getting closer to doing this shit. <clears throat> if I've right, done Turtle Oath. Oh, fuck, I'm just gonna get rid of everything again and start from scratch. I know it seems dumb, but like, looking through shit and looking back at my text file notes.
we have done commencement dance. Like, none of my stuff is actually in alphabetical order. Gama Sword Oath. Javelin Beetle Pact. And Revived Serpent Night Dragon. Pretty sure this is these are the only rituals left to do. Alright, um, insect, insect, Hercules beetle. Holy shit. Warrior wing beast, dogfire dragon. We need Gama Sword Oath Warriors as well, and uh, Sword Stalker. We've got Princesses of Rigi as well. Queen of Autumn Leaves. Should have a handful of these, really. <laughs> Only one. Need dark elf material. A wing egg elf should be like eighteen debt cost. Oh, we got three of them. Well, that's handy. And then dark spell casters, like all of them, pretty much. That'll make things more consistent. Mask of Darkness as well. Uh, reconstructed the deck over and over and over again. It's really not efficient, but whatever. Warrior, we got like everything we need. I'm just gonna also put in Monster Reborns and shit. Uh, oh my god, we got three of these. Well, we're putting three of these here, and then we're gonna do a Mimikat. Alright, so I'm going to try to summon all these, and then uh, we'll have a look again at the list and see what's missing. Oh, uh, we're getting closer and closer and closer, guys. Can you feel it? It's half past midnight here. On Thursday the 23rd. And this surely is... Spellcaster, Insect, Warrior, we got so much random stuff honestly. I want the Dark Elf out. Cosmo Queen's like one of the more annoying ones to summon, especially because I don't actually have a hard copy of Dark Elf, I have to fusion summon for it. I got this as well, isn't that handy? Punished Eagle. Get off the screen. Boom. Uh, oh my god. I feel like just committing to this one, honestly, right now.
while it's here. Get this out of the way. Just need the Princesses of Rigi. There we go. Alright, cool. So we'll have Princess of Sarugi ready the next turn. We technically can... Use... Is this my longest stream? No, I've only been streaming for four and a half hours. My longest streams are like 10, 11 hours. I don't think I've gone more than 11. 12 might be the longest. Wanna become famous? How about no? Yeah, that's what I thought. No, it's not. Um, you can actually see the stream length somewhere on the screen. Um, so I'm just gonna send all this stuff to the graveyard, and then we can actually manually, like, revive what we need, and then play that. There's no way I would stream this game for that long, like, that's just ridiculous, honestly. I don't think anyone should be doing streams this long, I think it's actually really, really unhealthy. For the human body and the human mind, and, it, like, I don't, I don't actually want to encourage anyone streaming that long. So, Spellcaster... So, the funny thing is, I can revive something with Mimikat. I just revive a Spellcaster with Mimikat. And then I can revive that Mimikat with my Mask of Darkness. And now I can play... ...this, the Construct of Mask. There we go. Alright, so I got three more Ritual Monsters to summon, apparently. Depends what I've still got that I can actually play. I can revive three monsters and revive one spell. Gamma Sword. Two Warrior and a Sword Stalker. I'll just see what else is in my hand. Alright, warrior. If I have a sword stalker, another warrior. Alright, now the Gamma Sword Oath should work. Yas. Alright, so according to my list, which is probably not accurate at all, the only ritual monsters I need to summon now are Serpent Knight Dragon and Javelin Beetle. So I'm going to do this and then I'll check my what I've got left, you know. Uh, that's stupid. Why didn't I keep the wing beast? I actually need a wing beast, but it doesn't matter. I've got monster reborns, so whatever. Uh, I need a warrior. I need Hercules beetle. That's actually very important.
So now I need two insects, wing beast, dark fire dragon. This is good. That's good. I just need a wing beast and two insects. Again, don't know why I dumped this to start. I really just kind of was like, eh, I'll draw another one. So I can play the Revive Serpent Eye Dragon on my next turn. And then we just need to worry about drawing two insects. Dump everything that isn't an insect. I'll keep the mic cat. I don't know why, actually. I don't need that. Alright, now we just need to summon the Javelin Beetle Pact, and then I think we're actually done with all the rituals. Mmm, we'll see. We'll see. We have two or three more, so... Again, I don't know why I'm flipping these face up. I kind of know what I'm doing now, but whatever. All I need is an insect now. And then we should be fine. We should be fine. Alright. So, I'll make sure that this registers as a play by ending my turn with it face up on the field. Again, I don't even think you need to do this, but I'd just rather be safe than sorry. Rather than have to do it all again. Look at that. Look at that Serpentite Dragon is just like stuck on that pose art. It moved. Uh, Alright, so if everything checks out, we should only be missing five cards. We should have five cards left. So let's check the library. Alright, so here is Summon Lord Exodia. Holy sh- I can't believe I'm actually this close. Uh, this should be Stern Mystic. And then these will be three of the Exodia pieces. So we need Stern Mystic and the three Exodia pieces we don't have. And we need to summon Exodia. And then we're done. So we need a deck that's actually gonna take Exodia and summon it and play it. So this should be the last deck that we make. I can't believe this. I actually can't believe this shit. Wow. So we got Exodia. We'll put in the piece of Exodia that we do have. Um. Oh my god, are you guys prepared? We're actually getting there. We're actually getting there. Now we want every possible revival card. We actually, we actually want Royal Decree to negate his garbage. Like, so it will stop. Like, we can Dark Hole him. We want all our Monster Reborns for sure. Dragon Child, Time Seal, Copycat, oh, Eternal Rest. No, we want um, Last Day of Witch. Fairy Meteor Garage, why the fuck not? Probably want some lab breakers. We don't actually know, we don't actually need them. I don't think we do. Change of heart, brain control. We can take control of his stuff that way. <laughs> Souls are reeling light. Stuff that gives us information is good, so we're getting the grave robber. Give ourselves dark piercing light. Uh, we do actually want, like, the rigorous levers, honestly. That'll just help us get the crap out of his hand. 
which means we also want darkness approaches. And then we want uh, Magician of Faith. And then we honestly just want a bunch of crap that's low deck cost that we can toss. I don't actually remember his deck cost exactly. I think this is a bit too high. Fair Meteor Crushes really are not that good. So I get rid of those. Alright, so the reason I'm using the Ritual Monsters here... Oh, sorry, the Ritual Cards. Is, um... They stand out from the rest. They're low deck cost, so we can actually duel the guy. And they're... Because of their unique color, we know we can just dump them straight away, or just rigorously we can dump them. Oh my god, are you guys ready? Are you... Every duel now could be our last. If we do this properly, this could be our last duel. Jesus. I can't believe this shit. We've done everything we needed to do except Stern Mystic, right leg, left leg, right arm of Exodia, and summon Lord Exodia. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. He's playing a trap card. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. So we can get rid of this garbage we don't care about in our hand. And all of his cards. There's an Exodia piece. There's one of them. Oh, it's time for the causality loop. Wait, what did he play? A monster? Or... I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't play Fisher? Yeah, I don't think we should. We should be definitely playing this instead. We gotta get him stuck on this, uh, the loop, you know, of trashing his hand to the graveyard. Alright, uh, this is free because I need to... I don't need to. But... I can flip this up to get a spell for free because then I can flip this. I'm going to flip this back down and. Which is stupid because Darkness Bro just flips his stuff down, so that's literally pointless, but whatever. Um, handful of cards we don't actually need. Um, I'll wait one more turn and then do this. Did I? I didn't even add my own white holes, that's kind of stupid. I really should have. But I've got... Alright, this is good. That's good. It's another Exodia piece. So he's just, he's locked out of Exodia now. He has no actual win condition. Which is funny.
Dog piercing light. Let's just play it anyway. Stern Mystic. That's the card we need, so you know what? Oh, this kills our own Magician of Faith, which sucks. We can revive that, but, um... Fuck it, we'll just do it. I want to play the Stern Mystic. We'll get that out the way. There's an Exodia piece. There's an Exodia piece. Yeah, so he has a uh, white hole, so I can't really play this. I'm only playing Dark Piercing Light, by the way, because then he, it actually takes him less time. Like, he can't move his trap cards out the way anymore, so it kind of shortens the length of his turns. See, he went to go back to play a card, but his the summoning space is occupied, so... Left arm? Left arm! We don't even need this card! We just need, uh, whatever else he's got. Um... Royal Decree, set Dark Hole over here. Hey, Bonk, how's it going? We're actually... I think we're about to do this, we'll see. Uh, if I still have enough cards to revive him... Yeah. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Um, Monster Reborn, no it's not good, I need to protect that somehow, but I cannot, uh... Uh, I don't think we'll be able to revive all of his stuff. Um, I think we'll run out of cards to do that. I don't know, I think we'll have... So, when I Dark Hole, it'll cancel his White Hole, the Royal Decree, and it'll kill everything. We'll lose the Monster Reborn, but I think we just have to do that anyway. Fuck it. We'll just give it a go. So, we kill our Monster Reborn, so we might be one short of being able to do this, but... All I care about now is Exodia pieces, and the three I don't have I need to revive from him. I'm going to use this to revive a Monster Reborn. And I need to be careful about what I revive. I cannot revive a left arm. I need to do everything but that. All of his other pieces. And I'm pretty sure they're all in the graveyard now, so... As long as we have enough to revive his stuff, I think we're... Oh shit, I don't. I actually don't. I don't! I'm gonna be one short! No! 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 Alright, whatever. Alright, we gotta go in and try again. Because I'm literally one card short of reviving all of his stuff. Which sucks. That was anticlimactic. I really thought we had one more card that could revive. 
something, but we don't. Um, but we got the stern mystic, so that's good. So now when we summon, when we actually special summon all of its stuff and get Exodia, that's, that's, it's in the bag. It's done. It's all done for. We can't even dark hole him anymore because we've got a. <laughs> we got a. Uh, uh, an Exodia piece on the field already. So that's fun. We also want to play the Monster Reborn. No! There's his white hole! That sucks. We have no way of getting rid of Exodi pieces unless we have Last Day of Witch. Um... Fisher works as well. Assuming his weakest card is an Exodia piece, but if he plays any monsters then, you know... No. Exodia pieces around him have like 1k attack or something. Also, no, our Fisher is actually going to kill our own Exodia piece, so I can't do that. Like, playing the Exodia piece early sucks, but I have to do it because of Rigorous Lever, so I don't kill my own Exodia piece. I only have so many Revival cards in this deck, so... There's an Exodia piece. We also actually have to watch out for the monster, uh, sorry, magic jammers, that's what we have to watch out for, so. It's kind of why I want to play, um, uh, Dark Piercing Light before I play any important cards. Like, the, the last day of which. Ah, nice, nice theme. Everyone's favorite theme in this game, right? Right, guys? Um, I actually want to keep the Grave Robber to revive a Monster Reborn. It's very handy, so. I'm fine if he plays more Exodia pieces. I can just give him a DPL. And then a Last Day of Witch. Alright, next turn I'm gonna use Dark Piercing Light. And then Last Day of Witch. And Rigorous Lever. Forbidden Memories has way more songs than this. If this, uh... Like, this soundtrack has a lot of good songs. Well, sorry, most of this soundtrack is good, but it just doesn't have nearly as many good songs. As, um... What's it called? Forbidden Memories. Forbidden, Memory Forbidden Memories has way more good songs than this game has. That's kind of what I want to say. Um... Uh, if I last day of which it blows up my own... Dude, but I kind of have to play this now at this point, honestly. Like, 
whatever. Um, pff, fuck it. I'll just do it. I could grave rob. The last day of which and blow up the rest of his Exodia pieces? That's anti Rageki. I can't really dark hole him at this point, seriously. I do- I actually unironically think that I need a last day of Witch him, like his last Exodia pieces, um, like a second time. Yeah, to be fair, like, if the visual, like, the aesthetic and the music and everything in these games wasn't so good, I think most people probably would have stopped caring about this game a long time ago. Because if you look aside from all that, the game's not really that good, you know. Uh, okay, so. I can do... This. Last Day of Witch. Uh, basically, I want all of his... Exodia pieces in the graveyard. And then I want to revive them all. You know what? I gotta say this. Like, again, there's a lot of people who... They talk about this game a lot. And I think... The fact that they could have done so much more with this is probably... Like, the potential of this game is probably why people think that it's probably a really good idea to improve on the formula. Like, everything that they didn't do is probably the reason why people like this, because they like to use their imagination and think about how much better it could have been. Um... Maximum number of spells on the field, well, fuck. On one. Shit, man. Fuck it. All I want... I don't know if this guy has more than one magic jam, or I really hope he doesn't. All I want is for him to play his other Exodia piece. Shit, I knew it, man. Oh, God. Um, I can't slash his hand anymore. I need to, like, get rid of one of these cards. I even have Mimic Hat. Where is my Mimic Hat? I should have a Mimic Hat in here. Did I add swords instead? How do I not have a Mimic Hat? I'm so stupid. Look at this. No Mimic Hat? Why? Is it in- it's not in my hand, is it? I'm so stupid, man. What the hell? How do I not- how do I not have a Mimic Hat? I literally just- my only option now... My only option is for him to play... An Exodia piece. But he's just not going to. If he has... Four monsters behind him, he literally cannot play any more Exodia pieces. 
I need to hope that that's a spell and he plays an Exodia piece. He's at the bottom of his deck now, so surely. No way, man. Oh, no, 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 no. This is literally so bad. Now I need to do a whole extra fucking duel. Look at this. Look at this. I need to, I need to like, revive Magician of Faith? Or something. What am I supposed to do? I can't brain control him, man. It's ridiculous. He doesn't have any exotic people. I'm stupid. Let's just check the graveyard. Alright, what do I have? Because I need to revive my own goddamn exotic piece too. So, enemy. Left arm, right leg, left leg. There should be one more. Right arm. Okay, there's all, I'm stupid then. They're all in the graveyard. So I just need to do this right. I need to just revive all of his Exodia pieces. And we got this, man. We got this by the arse. Alright. Let's just try to not fuck this up. Right? And then this is it. Enemy. Left arm of the forbidden one. Enemy. Right arm. Of the forbidden one. Enemy. Left leg of the forbidden one. <laughs> And then we need to revive a Monster Reborn, because I don't have a Mimica and I don't know why. So, next turn we're going to revive his Exodia piece. His last one. We got left arm, right arm, left leg. We need the right arm of the Forbidden One. Wait, no, 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 what? I, I miss, I misspoke. We need the right leg. Right? I mean, it's the only thing in his graveyard, so this has to be it. This has to be it, right? Left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. Are you guys ready to feel the power of Exodia? What the hell is going on? I think my emulator died. Well, that's great. I think my emulator died, guys. I think um, this doesn't count. <laughs> It saved itself! Oh my god! Thank god! It actually saved- oh my god, that would've been so bad. That would've totally counted anyway, so I'm glad that fucking... I didn't have to bullshit everyone and be anticlimactic about it. Oh my god. Alright, now to verify the contents of my library. Wait, what the hell is this? I'm missing a card. 299. What card is this? I don't know. I'll go back. 299. What card is 299? I have every card but 299. What? What card is this? 
It's a fiend 299? What? Hold on a minute. What card is 299? What could I be missing? Needle Ball? Ah, uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. I must have skipped over this card. If this... If I already entered this and I reincarnated this card and it just doesn't count because I never played it in my library... Oh my god, that is so bad. If this doesn't work, I uh, think we're screwed. Okay, well, this is very bad. This is pretty bad. We have to now reincarnate to get a Needle Ball. <laughs> Alright, so... It's not... It, is it? 299. We're missing two. It's Needle Ball. Needle Ball is 346. No, it's not 346. It is. Oh, what the fuck? What am I. Okay, I looked at the wrong thing. I'm stupid. I looked at the. the order of the cars on the list and not the number. Okay, well, thanks. Heart attack avoided. How do we get. Do we actually need to get Reaper of the Cards from Panic? How is it not on my list? What the hell? Okay, hold on. Reaper of the Cards is 250... No, it's 299. Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> alright, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's try this then. Could this be... Could this be the password that I did not enter accidentally when I was going through the whole list because I was delirious because I had to enter a fuck ton of passwords? <sighs> oh, it, it, that's it. That's it. Heart attack avoided. Oh, look at that. It's it's done, guys. It's done. It's done. We did it. We got every single car. The library is complete. The library is complete. Crisis averted. We did everything we needed to do. We did it. Oh my god. GG everyone. We actually did it. We completed the library in Duels with Roses. Oh. Alright. Okay. I have one very good word of advice for anyone who plans on doing this. Don't. <laughs> Please don't do this. I did this so you guys don't have to. I did this so you guys don't have to. If we actually recap stuff before I stop recording for the YouTube VOD. Say hi YouTube everyone, by the way. Hi YouTube. Yep, this is being uploaded to YouTube. It took me 5 hours and 20 minutes to enter in all the passwords. And then it took another 14 hours and 20 minutes to do the rest. And that includes literally editing the game to remove cards from the reincarnation pool. So that it didn't take us, like five hours to get one card via reincarnation. Some of the reincarnation in this game is so ridiculous. Some of the reincarnation in this game is so ridiculous. For example, eye armor. If you want to get eye armor, say the most optimal way possible, every single time you reincarnate three cards, not just each one card you reincarnate, like three per reincarnation, each reincarnation you do to get an eye armor is like 1.14%. And you know how odds work. That doesn't mean you're going to get it within 100 reincarnations. It means literally every time you reincarnate, you have a 98.8% chance to not get eye armor every time you reincarnate. 
So this isn't even there is no legitimacy to this anyway. There's no official there's no rules. This isn't a speedrun. This is broken up into multiple segments because I'm not crazy enough to do 19 hours and 40 minutes in one stream. I don't think anyone should. I think it's actually quite unhealthy. You can live your life however you want. I just really think that nobody should do long streams like that. It's just unhealthy on your body and your mental. GG, guys. So, again, for the sake of the YouTube VOD at the end, check the description. I'm going to be putting the links on how to get all the cards in the description for them. This is the third part out of three. This. That's it. Again, look, we literally have... Our whole library completed. Up to number 853. Oh my god. Oh my god. So... I don't even know what else to say. If you want to know how to get all the cards... Check the description of the video when this is inevitably uploaded on YouTube. I did this so you don't have to, and I even manipulated the game to give us certain cards in reincarnation. Not, I didn't alter the pool so that I would randomly get a card that I shouldn't get. I manipulated the pool so that I got, I did not get cards that I didn't want in the reincarnation pool. That is how I did this. My god. So that's it for YouTube. Oh, of course I've got to do the obligatory like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Check me out on Twitch because it's 19 hours and 40 minutes of getting all the cards on a save file. So that I had a video where I actually did it. Yeah, say hi YouTube. This VOD is over. I'm going to stop recording.